Welcome in, everyone, to our fourth episode of Mother's Jail. Tonight's episode is titled Twin Ambitions. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Borislav Slavov, Critical Role, Hunter Rogerson, and the Supernova Collective, who will be providing the music that we will be uh, hearing tonight and throughout this campaign. Last time we all got together, we had a few things happen. We started things off with a night of passion between Asuka Lestel, the leader of the Thieves Guild in Jet's Ambition, and our own Ayla Stormborn, who uh, they had a had some, some talk, shared some whiskey in a very literal sense, and uh, then uh, indeed faded to black before... Ayla found out that she had a cab called for her in the morning and was told, don't be here when I get home later. Uh, Whiskey among other fluids. Among other fluids, yes. Uh, You all rejoined and met up with Tessa Allspeth, finding out that she had been given a black eye because apparently she had been jumped by probably what we assume to be some of uh, the Desoran Mercenary Company's goons. Not the Desoran Mercenary Company. Wrong game. The uh, the Mother's Jail Mercenary Company's goons. Uh, you all got tickets to a charity gala being held at the Dark Diamond, a casino run by Jaka of the Jet, another of Oscar Estelle's uh, competitors, so to speak, for the current leadership of the Thieves Guild. Uh, you are be- you believe that this is the man who is orchestrating the assassination plot of uh, Tashira of the Scarlet, which is what you've all been hired to stop from happening. You stopped by and talked with uh, the owner of the Misty Gala, uh, Phelan Decor, and uh, met some of the actresses and or actors and actresses there in Mogsley and Ami. Uh, You were hired by her to investigate the identity of the person who uh, blew up the Misty Gala uh, theater. After which, or during which I should say, uh, Ramiel went and had their first date with uh, Mr. Orion, finding him to be a charming and pleasant gentleman uh, and also learning that he has something of a tragic backstory. However, he seems to have learn to cope with it and deal with it and he seems like he's relatively healthy and well adjusted especially for a character in my game um that night you all went to the dark diamond uh and began to meet some of the individuals that are there uh you met uh general aaron a jet dragonborn who is indeed a general for the children of the deep you also met the azure eye uh, who is basically the Taylor Swift of this world from Mitra Scaleth. Uh, and Braley is a huge fan and was really happy to get to meet her. Uh, and they're having a drink together. Uh, while you were there, Nova <laughs> got a little exploratory <laughs> and snuck into the high rollers play. area. Uh, and particularly found herself in a room with uh, Oscar Lestel, Cassandra Dumorn, Jaka of the Jet, and a number of other nobles uh, and some bodyguards. And that is where we left off <laughs> with her. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, stepping listen, into that room. Uh, Nova thinks things. She's Nova thinks that they're great. Sarah is not confident. <laughs> this is going to be a tricky role play. <laughs> This is why I don't play high charisma characters. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no worries, because we're actually not starting with you. We'll be starting back in the main room tonight. That's completely fair. (laughs) So, back out in the main room. Uh, Braley, you are at the bar uh, conversing with the woman known as the Azure Eye. Uh, you're not surprised that people are pretty frequently coming up and asking for an autograph or asking for, you know, I would say a selfie, but not a selfie. But they're just asking, you know, wanting to shake her hand, get to meet her. A magical uh, instant portrait. Yeah, basically. 
Uh, but you do get moments where you're able to chat with her, and she kind of uh, uh, gives the bartender a grateful smile as the bartender shoes off some of the other people, uh, and she looks at you. Uh, so, um, you're from Mitra Scaleth as well? Yeah. And I don't know, you're, I guess, not so far from home, but you're not home. Well, you're not either. <laughs> That's true, although I've been hired to be here. Do you usually tour out this way? Oh, I've been around. Okay. Let's see. I uh, actually was on Undwar um, until recently. I was doing a tour through the Dwarven continent. Oh, I heard the dwarves like to party. They do indeed like to party. I thought I thought elves could party. I was wrong. Should we um do a shot? She nods, sure. <laughs> uh and uh you signal for two shots which are brought over uh and set down in front of you and she holds up her glass. What shall we drink to? Oh. The love of music. I'll drink to that any day. And she taps her glass. And uh, this girl has... This girl can drink. Like, she puts she it down. Tank. No problem. Braley's not a tank. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'll have a... you make a constitution check for me, then. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. It's just one shot. <laughs> Yeah, how bad could it be? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. DC's not high. It's your first drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming through. Hopefully, oh. when you said not that high. <laughs> Did you mean, like, DC 2? <laughs> uh, so you get it down, and it doesn't come back up or anything, but it is that moment of, like, oh, I hate brown liquor. Oh, why, did I do why am I doing this? No, stop. And, <laughs> like, you, like, wince the whole way down. Ah. Uh. A little spicy, that one. <laughs> she raises an eyebrow. It's honey flavored, but okay, sure. <laughs> and she sets oh it hers God. down. That's, that's, it's okay. Now we know Braley's really white. <laughs> <laughs> While that's happening, uh, Ayla and Layla, uh, the two of you have uh, met back up. Ramiel is still kind of over in the corner, recovering from having tried to hit on a girl and not having liked it. Um, so uh, the two of you have uh, recovered. You see over uh, on the left side of the room that uh, General Aaron is speaking with Lady Leneth, and uh, Tessa is over mingling with some of the other guests near where the stage is. Don't suppose you found anything interesting? I assume that's to you, Layla. Oh, was it? I'm I... so sorry. Thought so. Right next to each other. I was too busy joking. I wasn't paying attention. My apologies. No worries. No, I've I've simply been mingling and sampling conversation. Can't say I've picked on up on much either. Has anyone have I seen anyone go through the door down here? Yes. Actually quite frequently you see people come and go through that door. Oh, well, do they look like there goes staff. that question. <laughs> do they look like staff? No, you see guests okay. frequently coming okay. and going through that particular door. Uh, is the guard stopping anyone, or is it just nope. kind of anyone? Nope, he just seems to be standing there looking very bored. Uh, I'll, I'll notice Ayla uh, sort of glancing at that. Shall we investigate? May as well. All right. Are you going to grab Ramiel as you go? Sure, we'll we'll stop him from sulking too hard. Yeah. We'll right. we'll uh if they will if both of them will allow it, Layla will definitely have have them on her arms. One <laughs> on each side. 
If they'll allow. I saw your look. I I feel like she would. Romeo just kind of like um uh raises an eyebrow at that and, and just goes, "Oh, if I must." <laughs> This hall is significantly quieter, and the light here is dimmer. Uh, to your left, two chairs near a bookcase have people reading quietly. Directly ahead, you see a fountain, and the sound of water trickling along gives a pleasantly relaxing atmosphere to the room. Uh, further down the hall, you notice a door with two guards standing in front of it. Um, however, this room seems to be something of a quiet area, something like if you're stressing or struggling with the large crowd you can retreat it's into here for a moment room. it is <laughs> very nice that is not what i expected to find here looks like jaka might that, have some neurodivergence that, is this fountain and like seating in the corner or is that stairs going up uh, this is it's actually the same as it is in the opposite corner it's more like a pagoda that goes around the top of the fountain Okay, okay, just trying to understand visually what I'm seeing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Why just... did my camera crash? Oh. What did I do? One second, please. You didn't stand up, so that wasn't it. I, I, yeah, I know. I didn't stand up. I didn't do any of the usual things that caused my mm. camera to crash. Your lightning powers are clearly getting stronger. <laughs> you know, I got shocked so hard it actually hurt the other day. What? So it what? Might be That's when I actually stood up one alarming. Time. Oh, honey. <sighs> Have you... Considered a humidifier. Yeah, get a humidifier in that fucking room because that's really dangerous for your equipment. Maybe I. I also we. There's a weird. There's something wrong with. Yeah, with the corner here. of of that house. I know. Um, I guess we might. As, I guess we gotta call sooner than later. As much as I'm not looking forward to that bill, I'd rather you be alive. And okay. your computer and everything's still working. And technically, we could probably get it off our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Gotta do it before the year's out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we'll have to call on Waters tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. Week and a half? Week and a half. Yeah. Oh, I can't get my camera turned on. One moment, please. Oh, Processing. The music's not going through. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> Processing. Fuck. Processing. Processing fuck. <laughs> Processing fuck. I feel like if I had to be Where? like an AI no for something, I could do the voice. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I think I have a voice mod for that. Hold up. I mean, a digitization's a pretty simple. That sort of roboization's a pretty straightforward uh, voice mod, I feel like. Oh, for a voice modulation, for sure. I was um, okay. speaking about, like, rhythm of the voice. Anyway, so we are yes, back. You're, we're back. Uh, so, yes, okay. uh, that is what you're seeing in this room. There is a fountain in the corner with kind of like this paper pagoda up near the top of it that has kind of patterns drawn on it. Uh, but it's um, lovely. The, the fountain actually looks to be of elven make. Ooh. Um, You know what? We're we're full steam in this. We're going to walk right up to the the guards down here. All right, you make. Oh, your are way, we? <laughs> you make your way over to the uh, guards who are standing there, and uh, one of them appears to be um, probably just a hired security hand for tonight. The other is wearing full armor and is probably a guard captain, um, but they nod and cross their uh, cross their uh, spears as you approach. Uh, no entry into the uh, into the office tonight. Oh, uh, pardon me. I I believe there was a miscommunication of some kind. Um, that's that's fine. You just can't come into the office. Oh well, we were explicitly asked. Oh, I see. By whom? Oh, and turn. Uh, Turn to Ramiel. Oh dear, what was what was their name again? 
Oh fuck! I, I got Ramiel, a a bus the size of a moose has just run you over. I need you to take thirty bludgeoning damage. Mhm. It's like, ah, uh, hold on. Okay. I had to pick one of you guys to screw over. Uh, <laughs> At least you screwed over the one with the high charisma. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um. And putting on the best face he can, he can muster, they're they're gonna go. Well, who else? Do I need to spell it out for you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, Ramiel and Layla, make a persuasion check for me. <laughs> Actually. Layla, make a persuasion check. Rami, I'll make a deception check. <laughs> oh, Rami, you may take an inspo, by the way, for your journal entry. I forgot about that. Oh, thank you. Do you guys remember the name of the person? Jocko. Jocko? Good. Okay, just make it. 17 yeah. and a 15? No, no. No, my thing was actually just like, wait, that's who we were looking for? Was that who was do who was like throwing it? I can't. I mean, presumably remember. this is both. Uh, yeah, presumably <laughs> this, this is, is Jaka's office. office. Like, this... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, don't mean to whisper on the winds over here. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, no. That that's more of a. It's been a week since we did this. Yeah, and for sure. That's kind of what I only wondered. Been like four minutes for our character. For sure. That's kind of why I wondered. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like an asshole. It's just like, you guys are no, the wrong no, person. I guess, <laughs> I guess you. So. That's why we take notes. <laughs> uh, you. They look at you and kind of like glance back and forth at one another. Uh, and the, uh, the hired one says, well, I'm not going to tell them no. Last time I turned away one of Jaka's guests, I was nearly fired. My ears are still ringing from how loud I was chewed out. The guard captain kind of grimaces at that. He's not it's a patient okay. man. You don't have to worry. We will maintain our discretion for you. <sighs> Thanks. And uh, they open the door for you. Thank you. I do understand you're simply trying to do your job. <laughs> yeah. And Romuel just kind of like as uh, as uh, they all pass by goes like, Honestly, you can't have a good deal these days. <laughs> oh, good. There's nobody in here. One of them uh, noticeably uh, stiffens at that. Uh, Ramiel. Uh, indeed, there is not. But there is a music change in here. <gasps> mm -hmm. I'm going to quickly see if Luna wants in. Sure. This room is indeed an office of some sort. A window on the north and south wall looks out into the courtyard and towards the southern garden. In front of each window stands a statue of a knight. A long carpet leads up to a mahogany desk covered in green cloth. Loose papers and a book are scattered across the front of it. Behind the desk is a portrait on the wall of a jet dragonborn with a scar over his face. Um, had we seen Jaka out? Um, no. Uh, no, okay. I think he's been in the high roller room the whole he time. He has been. No, that's that's fine. I just wanted to double no, like, check. Out and, out and about in the actual city? No, we haven't. No. Well, yeah, I meant, no, I meant earlier, like, circulating. Yes, well, no to both. You've never seen him. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Ayla uh, reaches up into what I think both of you probably would have assumed was, like, a hair priest piece that she had in like the top of her braid and actually pulls them out their lock picks. Um she walks over to the desk. Alright, buy me time. And can I use Thieves tools to check for traps before I try to pick any locks that might be there? That's a perception, I think. Uh it is pers uh it's investigation. It is yes. investigation. Yep. So why don't you go ahead and make an investigation check for me on and, uh... the Seeing desk. you do that, seeing you pull that Ooh. out like that, right, Layla will actually give you a look like she's sort of impressed with the resourcefulness of that and be and point out. I mean, I got us in here, and well, How? they'll leave us be. Uh, uh, well, we we can make sure. Lock the door. 
23. 23? Uh, no, actually, I will not just click that. Uh, no, better yet, uh, slam against it. Then you, the I'll just, I'll just lean against it. No, no, no. We, we, I need you to slam against it. I have a plan. Oh, very well then. And uh, I will back first. Boom, as though I've been shoved. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not long before you hear the guards starting to shift and move to open the door. Needing to look at Ramiel. And he and he's going to open his mouth and uh, start making very suggestive noises, which I will not repeat because make a performance check. <laughs> I was gonna say after yeah. after a moment of realizing, oh, this is what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> Layla will uh, do her best to uh, keep up. The shall we say? performance. <laughs> okay, make a performance check at advantage. Then <laughs> I'll count that as the help action. Oh, advantage oh. paid off. <laughs> advantage good, advantage good. <laughs> uh, the, it's only a moment later. You don't hear anything except for the sound of footsteps shuffling away quickly. Apparently the guards have decided, nope. Are they shuffling away as though they're now walking a little funny? They're shuffling away as though they're like, ah, I don't get paid enough for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Ayla, with your 23... But how much more would you like to get paid? Wink. Oh, boy. <laughs> with your 23, you find a couple things. You find that uh, the papers on top of the desk are mostly irrelevant to what you're searching for. Um, there's a book on commerce on top of there, uh, and most of the papers there are just, uh, you know, notices of, like, Hey, here's a message for you that came while you were gone. Hey, you know, here's, you know, the staff schedule tonight. Things like that. It's not too important. You do notice a few things. The first thing that you notice is that there is a, um, there is a locked drawer on the desk. And the second thing you notice is that underneath the desk, there is a button. The button you are able to see on a 23, you are able to see that the button is trapped. Like, if I step on it, it activates a, like, it'll hit me for stepping on it, or it'll try to, like, get the sense... hit someone in front of the desk. No, you get the feeling that this button is meant to open something, but it also is trapped if you don't do it in the right way. Am I able to figure out what the right way would be? I would say now you can make a thieves tools check. Okay, so that actually, would be... actually make two of them for me because I assume you're gonna want to open the locked drawer too. Yeah, uh, thieves tools would be my proficiency and dex. Yes. If you're proficient in thieves tools, yes. yes proficiency correct. and dex. I am, since you let us write the extra thing for proficiency. There you go. Dirty twenty. Nice. Uh, all right. Is that for the uh, thieves' tools check for the trap or for the desk opening? Uh, call that for the trap. You are able to uh, find a small bit where the button's casing uh, has a wire that goes up into the desk, uh, and uh, taking out your knife, you're able to cut it and prevent whatever would happen. Okay. Uh, and then the second one be a 17. With relative ease, I would say, you are able to uh, pop the lock on the desk drawer and open it up. Inside, you see a number of documents, uh, most of which just seem to be records of large bets coming into the casino. Um, it's kind of strange, like, None of them are losses. They're all major wins that came into the casino, and all of them have initials next to them. But nothing really too weird about that. But you do notice a couple of pieces of correspondence that catch your eye. 
because they seem to be a conversation back and forth, and these are the two that stand out. C, I've confirmed with D. If we remove A from the picture, the deal is on. The second one says, understood. I believe she is quite the card player. Allow her a bodyguard and she'll likely attend. C. Oh no. Wait, <laughs> Cassandra starts with a C and Aska starts with an A. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll drop those in the chat for you all. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you said that, was that both pieces or was that one? That's the that's the correspondence that you found that was relevant to you. I'll wave Ramiel over, hand them that, and figure out the button. Yeah, you press the button, and as you do, a section of the floor begins to slide away, revealing a staircase leading down. Well, that's not ominous at all. Ah. Uh... She says, uh, Tarina ASMR, know. don't get the light cantrip. Hmm. It doesn't particularly appear dark at the bottom of the stairs. I mean, it's oh. dim, but there are lights down there. Let me double check on that. Uh... His, his dungeon has a nightlight. Uh, Diana of the Jet. Would yep. Be, um, Diana of the Jet team. runs the market, black market here. Yes. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so if we're concerned about about light, I do have the light cantrip as well. So. Sure. Do you guys go down the stairs then? Yeah. Uh, yeah. While you're all doing that, we're gonna jump back over to the main room. Really's having fun, dancing to shake it off or something. <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> We're all about the folklore. Yeah, Riley, yes, agreed. <laughs> you have a couple more drinks, and uh, then the Azure Eye excuses herself because she has to return to performing. But she said she very much enjoyed talking with you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> she like looks back. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It was nice oh, okay. meeting you. Nice meeting you, and she. Heads back over to start performing again. As you get up and start intermingling back in the crowd, uh, it's a moment later when you find yourself uh, sitting at a table with your back to Lady Leneth and General Aaron. You can hear them talking. If I can figure out where I put that. They're... Uh, they are these two up here. Yeah. General uh, Aaron is like um, Tessa's boss. Yes. I don't know who Lady Luneth is. I apologize if I'm just forgetting. Yes, uh, you don't know who she is. Okay. Standing near one of the roulette tables, a tall elven woman with armor bearing the symbol of Mitra Scalith is playing. She sips at a glass of sparkling wine occasionally and seems to be frequently approached by other guests at the party, though the conversations always seem to be rather brief. General Aaron is making... He seems to keep glancing at her as if keeping an eye on her and then looking away uh, before she can catch his gaze. Okay. And where am I in their proximity? I mean, so like if they're up here at this table, you're probably like right down here. Okay. You said the symbol on uh, for Mitra, Mitra Scalith is on her armor? Yes, it's on her armor. She is wearing, she's not, so she's not wearing like full plate. She's wearing like scale, but it's in a kind of a dressy fashion. Mm -hmm. Like how, um, how, uh, Captain Allspeth has her, um, her. Correct. Uh, her officer's uniform. Exactly. Same concept. This is clearly an officer's uniform of some kind in Mitra Scalif. Am I familiar with Lady Lena? Make a history check. History. Wow. Hey. You are. 
Uh, Lady Leneth Eastbrook is a major name in the nobility of Mitra Scalith. Um, she's also a relatively recent name to start appearing in Mitra Scalith. Uh, when you were a child, you certainly had never heard of her. It's probably with only within the last two or three years that she has suddenly become a pretty prominent household name, and no one seems to be entirely certain why that is. She just suddenly was. Okay. Oh, uh, what are they playing at that table? Roulette. I guess Rayleigh, Rayleigh's going to play roulette. Okay. You go over and you buy some chips and uh, uh, lean over. She gives you a polite nod and quirks an eyebrow. You are from Mitra Scala. You could tell? You, uh, your facial features, your hair. Yes, you are indeed of the jewel of the East. Oh. Um, I'm familiar with your name, but, um. Oh, my sincerest Lena. apologies. I am Lady Leneth so Eastbrook. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. I am Lady Leneth Eastbrook. What might I call you? Um, Rayleigh Tourmaline. Rayleigh Tourmaline. Oh, yes, your family owns a jeweler, am I correct? Yeah. Yes, I know the Tourmalines. Have you purchased any of my father's goods? <laughs> she, uh, smiles and sets a, a couple chips down. I can't say that I have, actually. Though I believe that my household has. Oh. <laughs> and uh, what brings you here this evening, Miss Tourmaline? Well, the Azure Eye, for sure. Can't miss that act, right? <laughs> she chuckles. Yes, she is quite something. And how about you? Oh, I was actually uh, asked to be here tonight. You were? I was. I was uh, summoned, as it were, though my summoner has yet to grace me with their presence tonight. Oh, I can help you go find them if you want. <laughs> Are you acquainted with Jaka of the Jet? I've certainly heard of him. <laughs> Many have. He owns this place, so I'm told. Yeah. It's about that moment when General Aaron finally kind of moves over as well and says something. Uh, I apologize. Is this table open? Oh, she glances. Really? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Rayleigh's gonna look around. There's only like what? Yeah. He nods gratefully, and she raises an eyebrow but nods as well. Oh, does Brayley know who General Aaron is? Like, does she? I can't remember if we mm. had like. I mean, maybe you'd be familiar with him. He is one of the biggest generals in this city. So he like, if Jet's ambition went to war to like, if like a attack came on the city, he would lead that defense. Like. Mm -hmm. That'd be his place. So yeah, he's pretty high like... up in the military, but I don't know if you would know. Like, you wouldn't know him personally. Yeah. I just want to, because I think when we came in, Tessa made, did Tessa point him out? Tessa did point him out. You do okay. know that he is Tessa's boss. Okay. Of course, he's every military person in the city's boss. So, you know, it's not saying a ton. Uh, He nods and uh, not, uh, gives a polite nod to you as well, Braley, before looking at uh, Miss Eastbrook. Uh, Lady Leneth, I was wondering if I might be able to have a word in private. And she raises an eyebrow. I have a prior engagement this evening, and I am on something of a hot streak. So perhaps another time. Uh, and he leans in closer and says, Commodore, I really do need to speak with you. And at that, her mood changes immediately. And she kind of gives him a glare. 
I've had people killed for uh, letting out lesser secrets than that. He shifts uncomfortably. I understand, but I do need to speak with you. And that she kind of chuckles. Are you blackmailing me, General? And General Aaron shakes said, No, ma'am. If I were blackmailing you, I would tell you that I know where you're really from. <laughs> and at that, she gives you a glance, Braley. If you'll excuse me, apparently the General and I do have something to discuss. Oh, okay. It was <laughs> nice to talk to you. It was very nice to talk with you, too. And her and General Aaron leave. Where they go? They oh, out the go door. Go out the door. They leave. Oh, they go. They go. Oh, well then, that's uh, not suspicious at fucking all. Yeah. So yes, uh, Braley, you make a mental note that he called her Commodore, and everything changed when she did. When he did. Commodore. What does that even mean? Well, Braley. Can Back over to our group in the office. <laughs> our fun gang. Well, we're not in the <laughs> office anymore. Well, yeah, you were in the office, I suppose. You're not anymore. Oh, no. What we find down the, here? The apparently dread demon remains. The stairs descend into a dimly lit room. <laughs> there isn't a ton of room to move around down here, as there's a table taking up most of the room. On the table are a number of papers, as well as two pouches and a strange-looking stone. What do you mean, strange-looking stone? <laughs> it's a small stone that looks like someone, like, whispering into their hand. Like, it like a be sending a sending stone? stone? Yeah, if you know what a sending stone looks like, then yes, you would know what it looks what it is. I feel like uh, Ayla am, has I a solid stance in a fair bit of magic. Then I'd say yes, you recognize a sending stone on the table. Sending stone, two pouches, and a stack of papers, you said? Uh yep. Uh, uh I'm gonna go over to the stack of papers first and see what the first one uh has to say. There's only a few papers in this stack. There's probably three or four sheets. These are a bit more sensitive, I would say, than some of the stuff that was upstairs. These are certainly detailing some more illicit activities. Uh, Such as... The third one really does catch your eye. It okay. says, security is very high on this one, and don't think I don't know who you're asking me to make an enemy of with this. My usual fee isn't going to cut it. 50k, not a copper less. Oh, shit. There's a detail on who this one is. Um, it or... doesn't say anything more than that. Okay. And you said the, the rest are more illicit, but they're presumably they're illicit. in yeah. the normal run of illicit stuff. Yeah, we're talking about, like, bribes and stuff that are being documented okay. on these. Uh, so more illegal than illegal activities. Yeah. Okay. We're going to extreme illegal activities. Damn. All right. Uh. Oh, we're going to grab that one. The sure. the third one. The detail specifically. Um. Uh. The the sec the security that the. Let's be. We're gonna take the third uh, sheet with the with the fifty k. Um, Are there any the... spare blank papers? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's a couple over on the uh, right side of the table that are just you know there's an inkwell and a quill. Are you gonna make a copy? Yeah, try and copy and put the copy back. Ah, uh, okay. You're gonna take the original and leave the copy. Clever. Yes. Uh, inside one of the two pouches, you find 700 gold pieces, and inside the other, you find two diamonds, each worth 500 gold pieces. <laughs> well, don't feel bad about stealing from this guy. 
This ain't for charity. To your right, uh, off to the edge of the room, you see a small lump wrapped in sheets, and it shifts occasionally. Okay, let's what? move that thing. How big is how big is small lump? <laughs> I would say child sized, perhaps. Bunny size. I, I would say roughly child sized. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Let's investigate this. <laughs> Pulling some of the sheets free, you find that there is indeed a person underneath them, bound against the wall. They are a young dragonborn, and given how early dragonborn age into their adult forms, you guess she can't be more than ten. What? She has brilliant purple scales that shimmer and reflect the low light of the room, and a pair of fins on either side of her head. She's dazed and barely conscious as you find her. Oh, dear. <laughs> I wouldn't happen to recognize this particular dragonborn, would I? I'm going to say... Probably not, but not necessarily guaranteed to not. But I've I've seen someone who has similar who carries similar traits. Oh, I mean, she's got melody scales, literally. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Steal from her? I'm just <laughs> Immediately going to go over to um to the um, uh, the little one. Well, they're they look uh you said like dazed and very. They look like, very they're... out of it. They've either okay. been drugged or been being smothered under this for so long, they're just out. I've got something for that. All Gonna, right. I'm going to cast Lesser Restoration on them. <laughs> Fair enough. Makes sense. Uh, you cast Lesser Restoration on them, and indeed, they seem to gain a measure of their lucidity back as they look up. Hello, uh -huh. can you can you tell me what, what is your name, dear? I need to find my axe again, Buck. <laughs> Tunkle Valley girl, guys. She kind of like has to like close her eyes because even the dim light is hurting them right now. Poor baby. And noticing that, try and move into the way. Yeah. Cadence of the ivory. Well, Cadence, my name's Layla. Hi, Layla. Darling, we need to get your back. I. I don't know where I am. It's it's okay. We're we're here to help. It's okay. We'll get you back. Um, does it seem like more healing magic might do further good? No, I mean she's okay. this girl's been through a lot. She needs she needs <laughs> no, to that's... actually sleep somewhere safe. That's what she needs. No, that's that's fine. I just yeah. wanted to like try and figure out with that for okay. sure. Uh, Callie. Mm -hmm. Quick question about sending stones. Is it possible to know if one is like a preset sending stone to like a specific person without using it? Um, you wouldn't know who it goes to, but you do know that this does connect to another sending stone. They always come in pairs. Okay. No I forgot that's how they worked in this world. Yep. They always come in pairs, but they can also be used to talk once per day to someone else. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna walk over to it and um Oh, I was gonna say Ayla I think is turning the sending stone over in her hand. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to um to you, Ayla. And I'm going to um uh stretch my hand out. I think Ayla looks at it for a long moment. Do we use it to tell Asuka? No. Or do we're we? To... No, we're going to we're going to inform someone far more important. Someone who needs to know that Cadence is here. Okay, their whole deal hinges on her dying, though. I'm aware. Well, then their deal will just have to fall through. Uh, and the whole time I'm basically just doing healer on mm -hmm. the spot, quick checkup stuff. All right. Uh, oh, she'll yes. hand it over. Kind of grimace a little bit. While that's going on, we're going to cut over to our high rollers room. 
Oh, good. I'm glad I told you originally what my plan was when I came in here, because now it sounds like <laughs> because it would sound a little metagaming knowing what I know out of character now. Um, <laughs> regarding the I, if she allow her a bodyguard. <laughs> you, uh, the door opens, mm -hmm. and uh, indeed, you see to your right immediately is Rain Dumorn sitting in a chair. To your left, a uh, man wearing plate armor. Uh, and straight ahead at the table, you see Cassandra Dumorn, Oscar Estelle, some generic nobles, and Jaka. They, everyone looks at you <laughs> and blinks. I notice Rain, and I see the other Dumorn, and I see Asuka, and uh, Nova's going to smile and bow her head. My apologies. Uh, I was, uh, my apologies for my, uh, my late arrival, Asuka. She's going to kind of try to give her a meaningful look. Asuka catches your look as she gazes over and nods. You're late. My apologies. Uh, just uh, so much, uh, so much crowd and dancing and wonderful entertainment in the other room. I, I lost track of time. Your fee will be halved. <laughs> of course, my lady. Go sit. She nods and looks for a place to sit. <laughs> there is. There's a number of chairs that are just kind of around the edge of the room. Got it. Um... I am going to, hmm, this is a good question. Um, I think I'm going to sit at Asuka's back. Right there, right there -ish. Okay, yeah. The game tonight is poker, and Asuka seems to be up. Uh, she quietly eyes her cards before glancing at Cassandra. So... What interest does the Mother's Jail Mercenary Company have in a charity fundraiser? Cassandra gives a level smile and sips her drink. Well, we are all of us embroiled in this war, and I would be lying to say that we don't profit quite extensively from it. The least we can do is ensure the many widows and veterans are taken care of, yes? Asuka takes a long drag on her cigar. Yes, aren't you just a saint? Raise 300, she says, pushing some chips onto the table. Cassandra barks out a laugh. <laughs> Careful now, dear. With Daddy gone, you're now the queen of that glass house you seem so content to throw stones from. I fold. She pushes her cards away as Asuka collects another pot. Asuka nods simply. My father was a son of a bitch. I only did him the service of burying him so that I'd have a place, to, a proper place to piss in the morning. She returns acidly. What is Jaka doing while these ladies are... Dealing. And at the moment, dealing. he is quietly dealing, and he's playing as well. It's his turn. It was his turn to deal. So. Okay. Uh, he passes the stack over to the next person to deal, the next hand. Oh, got it. Okay. But he does interject then. Oh... Is that why half the guild is in open revolt against you right now? Or is it because of all the new rules you're trying to impose? He asks. Asuka's eyes flit towards him. Pardon me for thinking we have a responsibility to do what our leaders are failing to do. Diana is content to sit back and get rich on other people's suffering, as is our good friend Cassandra here. Yes, I steal gold, I steal jewelry, I steal whatever I think is valuable. But our so-called leaders, the gentlemen who wear fancy suits and push pieces around on a map, they steal people's lives. And any guild that I run will have no part in that. I don't care what my father did. Jaka considers her words for a moment before nodding. He then looks up suddenly, as if he heard something. Well, if you fine ladies will excuse me for a moment. Miss Lestelle, let us talk more this evening. I'll meet you in my office later. I have something I wish to show you, he says, before looking at the other nobles at the table. Lord Bentley, Lord Dorma, would you kindly accompany me, he 
he asks. And the three of them all leave the room. <laughs> well, I have uh, no reason to <laughs> go with them, I don't think. I wouldn't say so. So I will stay and play the part as mm -hmm. I am observing Asuka. Asuka and Cassandra play another couple hands straight up. Asuka is an extremely good poker player. Yeah. She is very, very good, in fact. Uh, Cassandra chuckles and finally glances back at Rain. I think we shall call it a night as well. Rain, darling, please go get the carriage. These parties are ever so tiresome, she says, watching Rain go as she puts her coat on. And indeed, Rain steps out to go fetch the carriage. As the door closes, or sorry, rather, um, as she gets her coat on, she spares one more look towards Asuka. Oh, and Asuka, dear, a parting piece of advice. I love a good cheap shot or spirited barb as much as the next person, but when you do so, always make sure you have the winning hand, she says and turns to leave as well. Goodness, I did not mean to end the party so soon. Asuka shakes her head. No, I think the party was over one way or another. What brings you here? Mm. Simply uh, was investigating the area and the area, and uh, well, you seem to need uh, need a bodyguard yourself. <laughs> she glances over at her knight, who is there. Well, Darren is. I suppose getting up there in years. She <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> she then uh, uh, sighs through her nose and moves to get up. But as she does, her legs give out and she falls over the table. Uh, I will go up to her immediately. Wincing, she tries to shake her head out, suddenly starting to wheeze and gasp for air. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Darren, get me out of here. Gets, it, gets her out. She, need, uh, she needs an antidote. The armored man in the corner doesn't come to her aid. Okay. Instead, he stands and draws his blade. Uh, Your father would be ashamed, ma'am. Nova will draw her, draw theirs. Yeah. Oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> the other group. Your healer's busy helping a child. I outside. know. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Brayley, <laughs> you are. Wa you watch the two leave, and it's about that moment that you see Jaka come hurrying through this door, grabbing guards as he goes and making his way this way towards the south. Okay. Uh, Tessa also seems to notice that and she nods to you and you two both follow. Cassandra also went with him, right? Uh, no, Cassandra, no, Cassandra is Cassandra elsewhere. left separately. Yep. Separate, yeah. The two other nobles were with him, um, but that's... And you said... And you, you don't said, see what, them come out. They played, like, one more hand? They played, like, two or three more hands together. I mean, yeah, not that you guys would know, but yeah. yeah. So no, you just two... trying to help establish. With the yep. time, yeah. So let me uh, prepare kind of the scene. Uh, down in the uh, dungeon, as it were, uh, what do you all do? Um... For the uh, really quick clarification, you're sending stones for um, for Terrison. They are 25 words? 25 words. 25 words. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste what I am going to be sending to uh, General Tashira. You are messaging General Tashira. I am messaging G General Tashira. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just... I thought she wasn't in town yet. She's not, to your knowledge. Sending, well, if it's a paired sending stone, wouldn't it just go to the other end? So you, you can, can make it. You can talk as much as you want to the other person's sending stone. Oh, That's okay, not limited. Okay. and you, Or you can use it to cast sending Fair once enough. per day. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we hear all of the fuckload of footsteps? 
I would say no, not yet. So you're in the basement. I would, um, I would be, you know, again on doing healer things, making sure child is as healthy as I can immediately do, clothed, all that fun stuff. Doing all right. Care. Ramiya, what message are you sending? Um, I copy pasted it in the in chat, but I will um I will uh, uh, uh say it as well. Uh, Cadence is in trouble and you're in danger. She's safe for now, but get to the Dark Diamond as soon as possible. Break your spear. You get a message back a moment later that says, I am en route to Jet's ambition, but I will not likely arrive until late tonight. Fuck. Find Captain Tessa Allspeth. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, God. Of course it's in trouble. Cadence, sweetie. What, whatever's the matter? She cut, she... A long story short, this is, this is Cadence. This is someone very, very, very important to our terrace, uh, t to our terrace and VIP. We need to make sure that she gets back to her. Or at least we get, we get her to Captain Allspeth. Very well. Ayla, will you, uh, will you, uh, take a look upstairs and make sure our route is clear? I think I've probably been standing by the door. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you head upstairs, uh, and it does not take long before the door is thrown open. And standing there is Jaka and a number of guards. Uh, you, uh, no, you would say the route is not clear. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. as soon as that start, like as soon as she hears other people like coming, she would do her uh, lightning on, like pull the sword out of the ring, do the lightning on it. Uh, Are you Jaka... sending any indication down to us as we're like getting <laughs> not ready? Clear, not <laughs> fucking clear. Okay. Shit, get your weapons out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. fair. I will I will go over real quick to make sure that we're adequately prepared for this, and I will put my emboldening bond on Ramiel while we're... I took wait, my one I... damage. Oh, wait, no, I can oh. do that. I can do it to anyone within 30 feet of me, so I will emboldening bond both. Um, what does that do? I... <laughs> Super bless. Uh, it's it's yeah, it's basically permanent bless. You can add a D4 to an attack ability check or saving throw for the next ten minutes as long as you are within thirty feet of either of us. Because I I used both uh, expenditures on it. Okay. For the next ten minutes. Uh, question. A uh, bit. Uh, can do I have enough time to put myself between the door and um? Uh, Cadence. Kate, I mean, Cadence is still down in the dungeon area. Yeah. She hasn't been yeah. brought up yet. Ayla, Ayla was the only one who isn't in the dungeon. Yeah. Gotcha. You two yeah, are still I'm downstairs. kind of imagining Ayla peeked her head up, went, nope, and then yeah, ducked back down. Yeah, basically the idea I got was Ayla started going up the stairs while the two of us and Cadence were still doing stuff downstairs. Mm. So okay. I'm going to let you guys position yourselves in the room, as I assume you're all going to go up to fight and probably not bring Cadence up just yet. Where will Cadence be in the, in the, in the... Uh, Honey, stay right just, here. We'll be back and get you in just Yeah, she just sits uh, on the table. have to take care of something. Layla, you're right where I was planning on putting Ayla. Oh, Braley and Tessa are I have fixed witnessing it. all of this. Like, I mean, you're, you. you're coming up behind them as they, like, open throw the doors open that's where, kind of where the combat's going to begin uh to add to Layla's uh, message for um for cadence i'm gonna um i'm gonna get on my knee uh i'm i'm going to um uh put the uh put the the sack uh like in front of her remember remember how um how mommy would have you play hide and seek i'm gonna need you to be a really good hider right now okay I mean, she is very sleepy and very out of it, but she nods. I'm a good hider. 
We're gonna we're gonna tuck you in. Mommy will be mommy will be with you in just a moment, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good. Okay. So we have a fight that's breaking out. Uh, on the bottom side, we have Layla, Ramiel, Ayla, Tessa, and Braley. And on the top side, we have Nova and Asuka. So I just roll initiative, and we'll just do a collective kind of thing. Oh, yeah. We're all going to fight together. You got it. Fight's happening at the same time. Um, it's so yeah, coordinated. Everyone may roll for initiative. Well, that's a great initiative score. <laughs> Fuck me. Let me double check something real quick, because I don't like that initiative at all. Oh, oh good. I do have inspo to burn. Yeah, I'm not keeping that inspo. Yeah, same. I'm gonna, I'm oh gonna my god. My, uh, I'm so sorry. That inspo. sucks. Um, I am... F I am 5.16. Oh not that it really matters between the two of us, but... That's, that's better. If, any, if anything, it's, not, it's not single digits. It's whatever, but... Oh, that's right. It's my Christmas hire. I was like, I'm a rogue. Why is my deck only 16? Oh. Fancy warlock. charisma. <laughs> Fancy charisma rogue with warlock. <laughs> I've never played a character like this before, so my brain is mush. <laughs> That's okay. I started with mush. <laughs> I appreciate that most of us are just rolling like shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it do be that kind of night. Uh, huh? Let's see. Jaka definitely has a lower than Tessa does. So Asuka's actually first. I'm so mad that I'm going last. Once, or not once again, last. I have been left out of the turn order. Apologies. All right, Asuka is first. All right, Asuka, disengage her. Start, oh start of her turn, she is going to take a d10 of poison damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'll try to save your girlfriend as best I can. <laughs> and uh, she's kind of still up against the table. Uh, her legs have given out at this point, so she, you see her reach down and uh, she tears away basically part of the bottom of her dress yeah. and draws a pepper box up off her uh, thigh holster mm -hmm. and fires at this guy. Good. Uh, point she point. attacks with a disadvantage. Oof. I bet if you do KL1, it'll... So, 15. A 15 misses, unfortunately. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I bet you KL1 would work. 2d20... KL1 plus 7. It does indeed. The second one does hit, however. I should have 20. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so she's going to deal her uh, 1d10 plus 7. 11 damage. Jaka is up, and uh, so he opens the door and sees the three of you and sees the door to the basement open and just kind of blinks. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he growls out and looks at the... He seems to, like, look up at this statue here and go, so much for dwarven ingenuity. And... Uh, uh, free action, I'm going to uh, shout at him. You have some fucking nerve to do that to my sister, you freak. Fair enough. I'm sorry, what was that word that you just said in that sentence? <laughs> freak. Uh, freak. Well, noting, noting that, he looks at Rami and says, Fair enough, you go first. Uh, and he is going to Scorching Ray you. Fuck. <laughs> Does a 16, 23, and 24 hit you? Uh, 16, 23, and 24, yes, yes, and yes. 
I have a really dumb question. Does he actually have line of sight on Ramiel with Ayla standing right the fuck there? Yes, he can see through you fine. Uh, 27 fire damage. Ow. Damn. You gotta extend oh. your, uh, your wings. <laughs> Give people half cover. I well, I feel like she I probably am... has yeah. done that if she, uh... I don't think like... it does anything. Yeah, no, it probably doesn't, but... Five feet squares are pretty decently big. I am down because I don't think I had enough, um, enough, uh, uh time there to, um, cast Mage Armor. So... Um... You would have had time to cast on like mage armor if you were going on. You I probably mean, would have mage armor before you came into this. Yeah, party. mage armor lasts like eight hours. Thirteen plus dex, which is what I, what my AC is at right now. So Sixteen, yeah. Ah. Um, and to clarify, because this wasn't a thing with uh, other characters I've played recently, bonus action and reaction are different things. Yes. 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 Bonus action and action is sorcery versus instant, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so reaction, yeah. You, sp I mean, they take different things. Things that take a reaction will call for a reaction. Things that take a bonus action will call for a bonus action. But I can't, like, a spell that is a bonus action is something I do on my turn. Only on your turn. Yeah. Reactions yeah. you can do any any time. So yes, sorcery but, versus instant. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. That. Oh, Sorry, magic. I didn't turns. think about yeah, that. that. Yeah, that took me a second. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, correct. Yes. I was it, trying to shortcut that. <laughs> yeah, I my brain just didn't think when you said sorcery. I was still thinking D and D, not magic. So yeah, uh, Ramiel, he blasts you clear off your feet with three large blasts of fire out of his hand. Woof. Uh, Layla, you're up. Well then, that sort of tells me what I'm going to do. Technically, it was a three-hit KO. Yeah, yeah. One turn. Yeah. Well, we're going to do like what we can. Hands. We are going to do what we can and just oh. Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. To be and, fair, uh, he fucking taunted him. We're gonna we're gonna kneel down and uh you know apply And we're going to apply, you know, to those arcane pressure points and everything and cast cure wounds on All right. Daniel. Sounds good. Bringing back eight HP. And also, your brief fainting spell. Ooh. It's alright. We all get the vapors sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna growl uh, under um under my I'm under my uh what the fuck am I am I talking about? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna growl out. I've suffered worse. I felt worse. <laughs> yeah. uh, anything else, Layla? That's, that's on this that's line. <laughs> Private security man is up. So that's Darren. He is. Uh... Uh, you don't have a real name. No, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, he's going to make uh, three melee attacks. Oh, jeez. One on you, Nova. Uh huh. <laughs> is a 10 hit? No. All right, two on you. Does a 13 hit? No. Okay, well, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> His third one's going to be on Asuka at advantage. Jeez, oh, yeah, fair enough. 22 does hit. <laughs> uh, she's going to take seven damage. I don't see her health if I'm supposed to. Not oh, it... sorry. It's okay. Like, no, you not... were supposed to. Okay. I'm not a healer, so there's not very much I can do, but I can panic. Yeah. That's oh, a damn. free action. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Panicking is a free action. That's true. <laughs> uh, the guard captains are up, and uh, yeah, uh, this one's going to come hurrying in here to fight. No, actually, they're both going to come up and fight Ayla. Because <laughs> she's scary and got black wings. Yes. And right. a lightning sword. Most yeah. Importantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also a lightning sword. <laughs> Only the one, unfortunately. I mean, Better I promise you to that. them, it's plenty. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, attack on up. Really? That's it? Well, I definitely thought they would hit a little harder than that. I'm not going to complain about them not hitting, like, super duper hard. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, fair enough. 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna try and stab you. <laughs> does an eight hit? <laughs> no. Oh my god, does a nat one for a five hit? <laughs> I don't think so, unless one. it's like an underflow, like, logic. Yeah, no, there's no stack underflow on this one, unfortunately. Uh, wow. Oh, they each attack twice. That's good. Maybe I'll get you on the second one. All right. I rolled... Does a 17 hit? Yeah. Okay, I rolled a 17 and a nat 20, so... Oh, jeez. Oh. So, so there will be a hit in that one. So let's do... Uh... Not bad. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a total of... Oh, actually, it was pretty terrible for having a crit. Never mind. Uh, 15 damage total. Ow! Uh, Ramiel, you're up. Okay. Um, we are going to actually cast Witch Bolt on this fuck. Uh, and Jaka? Um, yeah, that, that seems fair. And we're going to cast it at second level. I like it. Unlimited power. That's 18 will hit. Okay. And I do believe... Uh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. 19 damage? Wow, yeah. I didn't know get that high. Well, it's, two, it's 1d10 per level, oh, so yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, damn. Okay. Or, sorry, it's d12, so yeah. D12s, yeah. yeah two, Still, that's All right. bad. <laughs> Yeah, you are pissed, and he, you just charge up and blast this arc of lightning, which connects onto him, and he is shocked by it, at, literally, as oh. uh, he starts to like twitch and convulse. And um, as as um, as Romeo is actually like weaving that, you see the um, uh, Layla and um, and no, Layla would be the 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 one who has the uh, the better view for this. You see for the first time um, uh, as uh, as looking like. There's like ethereal draconic wings just kind of like unfurling. Mm. And as he shoots it out, it's um uh he brings his hands uh, together and it looks like a dragon is um uh, a dragon's mouth is opening. What uh what class did you say Ramiel is again? Draconic oh, sorcerer. <laughs> okay. That's what that's immediately what I was saying. Yeah. He's a dragon blood sorcerer. Uh all right, Ramiel, anything else for you? Um, I think that's I think that's it that I can do. Okay. Yeah, because... Oh, I can do uh, another... Uh, I can do my bonus action and convert my sorcery spells. You can. <laughs> so we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna use... Sorry, I'm new to, like, using sorcery points. Um, I'm no gonna worries. use... However many sorcery points I can to regain that second level spell, spell slot I just used. A second level spell slot. I think it's four, four? right? It's two times... Two plus whatever. That sounds vaguely right. I think it's two plus the level of the spell. You can get a first level spell slot back at this level, I think. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will hold off on it for now. Yeah, hang I was on. too busy as Miriani using my sorcery points to dual cast fucking haste. bullshit. Yeah, haste or greater invis. <laughs> Use uh, that. Braley, you are up. To be fair, those are strategically strong options. Agreed. Um. <laughs> Braley's going to look at Tessa. I guess we should join on in. <laughs> Tessa, Tessa gives you a look of, really? <laughs> um, I never would have guessed. When you're in the pit. If you got Moonbeam, now would be the time. <laughs> I don't think I do. Ah, darn. But yeah, isn't more... that a third level spell? Oh, is it? I don't know. Ah, whatever. That was second level. Uh, Doesn't matter. Gonna, I don't know. I looked it up. It's, uh, it's five sorcery points. Five sorcery for, uh, points. Uh, oh wait, no, five, thir uh, three for a second level spell slot. Okay, so okay. it's one plus the spell level. Okay, then yes, you can get a second level spell slot back. Sweet. I kind of want to wild shape out because, like, we have like the art of surprise, right? Cause they yeah. don't, they're not concentrating on us. Well, they're certainly not going to expect that. Yeah. What do you want to wild shape <laughs> into? A bear. A yeah. bear? <laughs> Classic. They'll never see <laughs> Gotta make her large. You get to be large now. Big old right. white bear. Like barely, am I right? Hold up. I got you. <laughs> oh no, oh, she get she get I you a bear. I just I can't. I guess a polar bear? Can I pull A polar bear? 
Hell yeah. yeah. To match your hair. <laughs> As uh, anyone who's familiar with the uh, League of Legends would say, I am the storm. There's a bear. Uh, yeah. And hi. Uh, yeah, you are now a brown oh, bear. I was going to say, do you have the... 34 HP. Okay. I was just checking how much his HP was. So just as a reminder, if you go down to zero as a bear, you just go back to your human, uh, your elf form without, and you start from that HP. Good to know. This is the first time. If you go down to zero as a bear, you just rejoin straight society. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, that's like one of the big... (laughs) Barely! (laughs) Barely! (laughs) Barely! Sorry, I got really excited about that. I got you. When I was uh, a druid, I didn't do this kind of shape shifting much. I was constellation, so this is exciting. To be fair, your your shape sh- your uh, your constellations were very pretty. Very shaped. good, right? Yeah. All right, barely. What would you like to do? <laughs> I'm gonna just blast through those. Like I'm just gonna. She wants to attack the guards. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go right for him. <laughs> Can you turn her? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, the guards are terrified. Go ahead and make an attack roll. <laughs> Does she get advantage because they're terrified? <laughs> no, not in this case, but they're not going to be happy. It's a bear. They are not actually experiencing Are they just going to run I forget. As a, as a druid, do you attack with your spell attack modifier, or do you attack with the bear stats? I, I believe it's with the bear stats. I don't know. I don't. I've never played a druid. So I've never played one. It has I, been I'm a pretty minute. sure it's the you actually use that stat block because All right, that then determines here you go. what shapes you have available. Here you go, yeah, Apple. I'm dropping this in the chat right now. This is your bear's stat block. You can do what it has. Yeah. So you keep your mental stats, but your yeah. physical stats become bear. The bear. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. What am I rolling? So you're gonna do a. You get to make a multi attack. The bear makes two attacks, one with its bite and one with its claws. Uh, you're gonna roll a d20 plus five to hit on each of those. Okay. D20. All right. Your first hit's gonna miss. Roll. Oh, sorry. Plus five. So uh, thirteen actually will hit. Woo. Oh, is there a way to, like add? Yeah, just put a plus five, and it'll do it automatically with your, behind yeah, your you can just, d20. Uh, ro- yeah, roll one d20 plus five. Uh, on, what was, it, was this D&D Beyond, or is it like in uh, here? No, in uh, roll 20. So if you type uh, slash roll one d20 plus five. Oh, oh, actually, you put a space, it just does it. Huh? Uh, okay, slash roll one d20 plus five. There you, there you go. Also, uh, if you keep making the same roll, if you hit up on your keyboard, it'll just repopulate the text box. Oh, cool. Uh, so uh, let's see. A 13 and a 19 will both hit. So roll damage on each of those. Uh, the damage for the bite is 1d8 plus 4. Uh, so you jump up and start mauling this guy from behind, and he screams uh, because it's a bear. <laughs> they are collecting weapons at the doors, but apparently allowing bears in. Uh, so he's pissed. Uh, go he's ahead and roll. You can do your claw attack now, which is 2d6 plus 4. <laughs> yeah, the claw is nasty. Yeah, that is yeah nasty. the claw hits real hard. I like how I snuck in my one weapon. I'm not <laughs> no, you're gonna. No, I mean, you're gonna you, be but, barely. But you wanted that if you're doing spells. <laughs> oh no! Oh wait, another. Oh, there it is. So it okay, so two, another. Right? So yeah, so, it'd be four, so fourteen, 14 total. All right. Well, I'm gonna have you attack the other guard because you're gonna kill him in one shot. So uh, you go in and bite one of these guards, and then with your bear claw, just bash the other one into the wall. And uh, Tessa raises her eyebrows like, <laughs> not bad. Uh, the guard is screaming. Can I talk in bear form? No. I no, I don't no. think you... No, you make... You roar. you roar. We're definitely, like... Like a... Roar, like, oops, sorry. Like, I didn't mean to... Ooh. Like, ice you. <laughs> <An> apologetic <laughs> bear. Apologetic bear noises. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, Miss Hayes, you're up. Oh, fuck, finally. All right. <laughs> Let's see if I can, like, not suck at this. Uh, booming Blade is what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm spending my last inspo because that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, you need another inspo? I don't need you guys. I rolled a one. <laughs> It's fine. Um, God, that's actually really frustrating. Uh, okay, so that's all my inspo there. Not rolling my dice, I guess, anymore. Um, trying to see if I can do anything with my jail. bonus action. <laughs> to the guillotine. <sighs> um, sorry, I'm just seeing if I can mm -hmm. do anything. That's not bullshit. I'll give him <laughs> a Hexblade's Curse. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Uh, would you like to describe your Hexblade's Curse, please? What does it look like? It's the first time we've seen it. Yeah. Um, I think it looks like a um, a glowing... <laughs> it, it looks like it's in the shape of a heart, but when it gets closer, it's kind of takes a sort of sickly red approach as it almost looks like a burn mm -hmm. on their skin. As it be appears, uh, yeah, right now it's over their armor, but you can see it almost burn into their armor. Yeah. Uh, and he doesn't like that. He thinks that's weird. Yup. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Ayla, you're up. Uh, which one of these just crit me? This guy. Okay, well, fuck him. Uh, I am going to bonus action to hit him with Blood Curse of the Marked, so I get, uh, I believe... The fuck does that metal ass Bonus mean, action, you dude. mark a creature that you can see within 30 feet of you until the end of your turn whenever you hit the cursed creature with a weapon or with which you have an active Crimson Right, you roll an additional Hemocraft die when determining the extra damage from the right. Ow. So what I'm hearing is... Yeah, Alive. she just kind of straightens back up from getting stabbed, spits, like, electrified blood on him, and then just goes to run him through with the sword. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, that's a nat 20. So you crit him back. Okay, so that's... Double your three. damage. That's uh, seven lightning damage. And that's my uh, 14 piercing. Uh, he didn't like that. I would say he really did not care for anything that just happened to him. As you indeed blast him with this lightning sword. Uh, yeah, he feels not great. Anything else you'd like to do, Miss Ayla? Nope, that's it. Tessa, and that would kill him. <laughs> it did not. Uh, the guard captains are pretty strong. Uh, Tessa, seeing all of this, uh, suddenly goes poof and appears right there. Oh, how nice of her to join us. She ah, glances. She glances around. Well, she misty stepped. Uh, but she glances around and uh, looks at you. Find something. Someone. Yes, we did. Romil is going to point uh, with uh, one of uh, his one well, of his free hands. Jesus Christ! Uh, his hands uh, towards the uh, the the trap door. Cadence is down there. Please get her to General Ospeth. Uh, <laughs> Cadence, <laughs> Cadence is name. down there. Cadence is down there. Please take her to <laughs> General Tashira. She's on her way. The look on Tessa's face changes, and you'd swear her shadow grows longer as the darkness and dimness of the room plays across her face, and this almost red aura begins to glow around her as she grits her teeth. Uh, she is going to channel divinity dreadful aspect. Oh. Uh... Yeah, that's that sounds like that's what Ma he's doing. Malevolence, hatred, anger all wells up in her 
and it just begins to flood out of her, this deep red color throughout the room. Uh, and our enemies have to all make wisdom saves. <laughs> okay, Jaka fails. Guard captain fails. Other guard captain fails. The only one who didn't fail was the guard. Well, you see, he's more preoccupied with the bear. That's so he true. Maybe, maybe he happening. doesn't really notice. But they're all frightened of her. They're all fucking terrified. Uh, reasonable. Yeah, it is uh, reasonable. Uh, unfortunately, that is her action to do, and she's already spent her bonus action. So she turns and draws the massive great sword off her back and Hell just yeah. snarls. Is it black? Uh, angrily. Black. Is her greatsword black? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. It is, uh, it's a steel, or it looks like a steel greatsword, but the handle is purple. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, pommel looks like a crescent moon. Or, sorry, the, the cross guard, rather, looks like a, a crescent moon. Uh, that is her turn. The guard is up, and he's going to turn around and try and smack this bear in the face. That's a choice. Well, seeing as it just killed his friend, he's pissed. <laughs> well, he rolled a six, so he missed. That's rough, buddy. Uh, Asuka's turn. She's going to take a d10 of damage from her poison. I wish I had the Minecraft damage noise uh, on the soundboard. Uh, Asuka is then going to shoot this guy twice at disadvantage. She's going to miss both shots, unfortunately, as the poison is starting to weigh her down more. Uh, she is... Her aim is getting... Less and less reliable. Uh, Jaka is up, and Jaka is fucking terrified of the scary paladin lady. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He hates everything about that. Uh, so he's going to turn away, and seeing a bear blocking his escape, <laughs> is going to shoot the bear. He's going to Scorching Ray again. Honestly, reasonable response. It's not the most unreasonable thing I've ever done. Ah, uh, scary paladin lady. Oh, bear. Fuck that bear. <laughs> Fuck that. Absolutely not. Uh, he attacks on a plus six. Oh, wait. No, it's only three attacks. Sorry. Uh, just three. So, so seven. So it's 13, 19, 17. Yeah. Which I think all hit the brown bear. Yeah, I think bear AC is, is 11. 11. So They're see. just tanky. 20 damage to the bear. So the bear takes three hits from these scorching rays, but the bear is still standing. <laughs> Holy shit. He's just angrier now. And Jaka's like, what is going on? <laughs> what is today? Uh, Layla. Bad day for you. You're up. Um, okay, so all of my friends that are here... Uh, do you want me to heal all of you, or should I assault people? I like healing. Okay. Um, I okay. use my blood to do extra damage, but I need to have blood to do that. Oh. That's fair. As someone who plays Roz, that's such a mood. <laughs> Just doesn't wanna, uh, you do not want to end up like Molly Mock. <laughs> no, no, I do not. <laughs> Very uh. notably. Okay. Infamously, in fact. Oh, that's exactly the right number. So I'm going to cast Aid. Nice. Spell bolsters okay. your allies with toughness and resolve. Choose up to three creatures within range, which is 30 feet. Each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five for the duration, nice. which is eight hours. So we basically just get five health. Yeah, yeah. right now. Except for Tessa, who also gets five health over her maximum because of that. Yep. Uh, yeah, Tessa, Ayla, and Ramiel. Yeah, the bear is just slightly too far. Sorry, bear. Sorry, barely. That's okay. I uh, have... She's got it. 
the bear has a second health bar and yes, it's it true. Not yeah. in bear form. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Also, uh, I mean not knowing right now that she can do that. I don't know that bear. <laughs> can you guys see the bear? Oh yeah. Okay. Does it have Braley's beautiful green eyes? You tell me, does it does it? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, absolutely Maybe it does. Maybe some like mushroom stuck on its head. And the ir and the irises are just also little bears. <laughs> um, but yes. Uh Rami, I'll make sure you add that uh five HP in for you. Yeah, yeah Witch Bolt specifically if you, if you, says... Yeah, you have to keep I didn't keep know that for Witch Bolt, sorry. It's okay. normally it's for like, concentration like, spells, that's not the case. Yeah, Witch Bolt is like the one spell that oh, has that clause. I, sorry, I don't use Witch Bolt, so I didn't know. I thought you just meant in general concentration spells. Uh, anything else, Layla? Nope, I just do that, and... Um, yeah. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm, helping, I'm helping my people. I do... Uh, do please dispose of this rabble before they carry on too long. All right, Darren's making his three attacks. He's going to hit Nova once and hit Asuka once. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Each for a D6 plus three. Where's my D6? There it is. Okay, he rolled two threes. So... Uh, six damage to Nova, six damage to Asuka. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, the guard captains are up again. Uh, wow. Uh, this fucking sucks. Um, well, this guard captain is going to stand their ground and try and attack Tessa at disadvantage. Sure, that'll go fine. Tessa, what's your AC? <laughs> Too good. All right, so he misses her, and then he misses her again. Uh, this one's going to try and attack Ayla. Oof. Uh, okay, Ayla, does a 17 hit your AC? Yeah. Does a 13 hit your AC? No. Okay, one hit, one miss. No crits this time. Ooh. Uh, three piercing damage. Uh, Ramiel, you're up. We are going to maintain Witch Bolt, so he has to take another D12 damage. With 2D12. 2D12. Oh, 2D12. Yep, it's still the 2D12. Mm -hmm. You cast it second level, it stays that. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. well, that's two. So that's seven five, more four, damage. Four, Does that seven. suddenly make it more appealing? Ooh. Yeah, it's 2d12 damage every round as long as you don't lose your concentration or do something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He, he's he's fucking pissed. No, no you are he... you are Emperor palpatine this guy right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How How's Jocko looking? <laughs> um, He still looks Tried. fairly healthy. Oh, okay. He's tough. He's a big dude. He's leader of, of a portion of the Thieves' Guild for a reason. Um... All right, Barely, you're up. Barely is going to go for that guard. Right All right. There. Yep. Well, if you if you hit him, he's going to die. Oh, okay. Do it. Uh, Do it. <laughs> Barely can't just That's be like, That's what Ramiel says. Dark side. <laughs> like, how wrecked is he? Uh, On a scale of 1 to 11, he's at about a 2. I thought like, you said how barely erect just like pick a paw be like get out that's of what here. I you want to you want to try and let him go well, yeah um, um maybe that's not a good I, I don't know you can you can motion be like it's up to you we'll off him okay there's a bear. oh my god there's a bear my oatmeal Wait, right, there's a dead guy in my soup. Uh, 1d20 plus 5. 2d20 plus 5. Oh, jeez. Uh, nice. yeah. Uh, you grab him by the neck and shake, and he stops moving pretty quickly after that. 
Oh, Go really claw the shit out of Chaka. Uh, so he's dead. Uh, oh. And you still have an attack to use. Uh, so you can go attack Jaka if you want. Okay, Jaka, here we go. Uh, Jaka goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I paid these people good money and they fucking died. Is uh, like a 1D? It's 1D 20 plus 5. Jaka's oh, definitely geez. thinking, ugh, this is what I get for hiring poors. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 will hit 2d6 plus uh, 2d6 plus 4 damage Can I just do 2d6? Yes you can Yeah, yeah you can roll slash, That's how slash you roll 2d6 plus 4 That's how you want to do it Because you can't add the 4 twice There we go Perfect Ow 14 damage Alright Jocko is bloodied uh, As this massive bear claw swipes across him uh, And he Snarls out. Ah! I wish uh, Adon was here. He's so good at making bear noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Dark Flux was here, he he has them, all of them on his uh, soundboard. Uh, really all right. Nova, you're up. Oh. oh they no. all go to Nova. I am too stressed oh. about this fight. All right, Nova, you've got three inspo to work with. Thank Go ahead. You, thank That's you. That's awesome. That's kind of you. You're just in it because it's your girlfriend. <laughs> okay, we need to put a we need to put a pin in this girlfriend thing. <laughs> uh, they had one sex night one stand. time. They, they had a one night uh -huh. stand, and Oscar got a lot of good information out of Ayla. I'm it's, just. It's purely, it's purely a business transaction. Nothing's gonna come out of it. Yeah, right. right? 18, right? please. Yeah, that'll hit. Oh, thank God. Will anything come in it? Oh, um. Okay, uh, sorry, I forgot to announce, but it's Booming Blade. Yeah, um, I assumed. And I get plus two damage because of the Hex Blade? Correct. Hex Blade? Okay, so... Uh, no, uh, yes, sorry, it's two damage. It's your proficiency bonus, yeah. Okay, plus two damage. So let me just... So it's 1d8 plus seven. 1d8 plus seven. Okay. 1d8 plus seven. Nice. Nice, 14 right. damage. And... Oh, I get sneak attack, right? Uh... You do. You have an ally within five feet. Awesome. Sorry, I forgot to add that. So give me a second, please. Sneak attack is just 1d6 because I'm not special yet. Uh, so an extra four to that. It's pretty good. He's 18. bloodied. All right. So, yeah. So Nova, <laughs> after having a miss, he like her. I, I would say probably uh, not too much, but I think Asuka might just see her feet like a little less of the suave swashbuckler and a little more of a determined mm. assassin type right now um, as she kind of seems to a little bit more Nova a little bit less Aruna. Aruna yep interesting so she's a little more focused they're a little more focused as they take aim and I think uh, try to pierce right where the hex mark was nice Ayla let, this is serious let me drive right. I'm much. gonna keep stabbing the guy that I stabbed already cause fuck him it seems reasonable uh, da, 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 22 to hit? Yeah. Uh, that's four lightning and seven piercing. Running He's, him through again. He is bloodied and not looking super great. Well, have fun, Tessa. Uh, uh I don't really have any bonus actions that are useful right now because I don't want to burn my other blood curse. Yeah, I'm not sure fun is the word I would use for what Tess is about to do to this guy. <laughs> Depends on which end of it else. drawn. Yeah. She's going to use a Divine Smite for an extra... Uh, she'll use a second level for 3d8 plus 9. Tessa... Oh, and she gets to add uh, an extra 3 for her Aura of Hatred. Uh, indeed, this aura around her just begins to twist down her blade as she growls out and just brings the blade down and slashes through and then it explodes across the guy's chest and he dies unpleasantly and she marches five feet forward and attacks again second verse same as the first 2d6 plus 3d8 plus 9 plus... Uh, oh, I think I, I think the R of hate's already 
in that. So yeah, it's plus nine. Uh, 28 damage on this guy now. Uh, he also <laughs> doesn't look super great. <laughs> Damn, cutting through him like cake. I mean, she is level seven. Uh, Asuka is up as we reach the top of the order again. She's going to take a D10 of damage. And then she's going to try and shoot twice. So it's one plus seven. That'll hit. Beautiful. I should have told her that we should like, run. run away <laughs> so that I could get the booming blade off. She That's can't it. run. Her oh. legs are jelly right now. Got this poison it. is affecting her really yeah. badly. Because I would have run to try to start the booming blade, but I figured he would just try to kill her first instead of running after me. Oh, that's fair. Uh, so she's going to hit, and she's going to do 1d10 plus 7. Another 16 damage onto him. Uh, Jaka, you are... Wait, sorry. Jaka's my character. Uh, Jaka, <laughs> he uh, sees this scary hatred paladin marching towards him and a bear behind him <laughs> and he thinks this sucks um yeah he's got the frightened so he can't get any closer i don't think he can't get closer to tessa he has to run away but he can't because there's a bear in the way so he's just kind of stuck there a bear I in a hard place. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. I believe they they can still attack, though. Oh, yeah, he can attack. If he attacks Tessie, he has okay. to do a disadvantage. Anyone else, he can attack normally, but... Okay. Uh, wow. Sorry, you looked like you were just like, well, this um, sucks. Well, he can't use any more Scorching Rays, which is unfortunate, because I'd really like for him to. Um, uh, yeah, I guess instead he's going to Eldritch Blast. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Well, that gives us some important information about him. I guess, uh, well, he could all just bust barely, but that would be at disadvantage because they're within five feet. Wait, sorry, Callie, say that again? What? What did he do? He's Eldritch, Eldritch Blasting. Blast. Oh. Uh, he's going to Eldritch Blast Ayla and Ramiel. Mm. 1d20. This one's coming at you. Ayla. Yeah, that hits. And that's coming at you, Ramiel. Hits. Five damage to Ayla. Six damage to Ramiel. Layla, you're up. Heavy sigh. Step you guys, up. stop getting beaten up. I, 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 I keep healing you. You keep getting beat up. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna cure wounds on on. Ayla, just nice. because she's in <laughs> direct melee. Honestly, D, you really need to take better care of yourself. Oh, uh, I don't see you, you standing up here getting stabbed. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if you if you hurt them first, they're less likely to hurt you. Do you think I'm trying to do? And take 10 HP back. I'm still up. I'm still. I'm still going with this witch bowl. Uh, yep. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else, Layla? Nope. That's that's what I got. Back around to Darren again. Uh, yep. Well, he's gonna make some attacks. Uh, looking at you, Nova. Yep. Since you just stabbed him in your weird brand. Yeah. Didn't like. I did do that. You did do that. Uh, all right. Well, that's a little better roll. Uh, okay. Uh, Nova does a 16 hit your AC. It does. Okay. If... Sorry. I was looking at the wrong person. No problem. Sorry. Does a 15 hit your AC? Unfortunately, it still does. <laughs> all right. I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, does a 13 hit your AC? No. Okay. So it's going to be two hits, one miss. All right, so we're going to go 2d6 plus 6 will be the total damage then. 17. Ooh, wow, I'm at 1 HP. <laughs> wow, he almost maxed yep, all to put you down. He did. Uh, so uh, there's a bit of a sharp cry as they get pretty stabbed in the gut, I would say. I would say pretty, they get hit pretty hard on that one. And uh, I think there's just a bit of a 
It's not a snarl. It's just a weird, like, glare, I would say. Ramiel, you're up, and I assume I know what that's going to mean. More Witch Bolt? Mm-hmm. All right, roll 2d12. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone, roll. Your rolls fucking suck. Uh, he thinks they're terrible. He's not happy about it at all. Uh, okay. Uh, he's, um, yeah, smoke is starting to rise up off his body. Uh, he's really hoping Darth Vader is going to show up and throw you down a power conduit right now. Um, anything else, Romeo? No, inspos are only on D20 rolls. Uh, no, that, that, that's it. Unless I can free talk and, and um, yeah. You can always shit talk. Shit talking is a free action. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit it, talk is a free it's, action. It's less of a shit talk and more of a promise. Okay. Um, and uh, Ramiel with um, with a seething expression uh, as he's channeling this uh, this witch bolt at Jaka. Um, uh, goes, um, for every second that she spent under that damn office of yours, I will make sure you will suffer an excruciating and painful death. Hmm. Yeah, he's starting to believe that you might be capable of doing that. Uh, Braley, or sorry, Barely, you're up. <laughs> Okay. Barely's gonna go for it. Roll away. D20 plus five. Is this your bite or your claw first? Hmm. Well, let's claw his face first. All right, gonna claw his face. D20 plus five. D20 plus five. That'll hit. 2D6 plus four. Ten damage. Okay, go for the bite. Mm, is that another D six? Uh, it's one D twenty plus five to try to hit first. Oh, sorry. One D twenty plus five. <laughs> That'll oh, hit. Yeah, certainly hit. All right, you're, uh, rolls. you're rolling fire. great. Yeah, what one D eight. One D eight plus four damage. Yep, 1d8 plus 4. Nice. Jeez. <laughs> Barely, <laughs> how do you want to do this? Let's Wait, what do you... How, am I, what are, how are you going to kill him? him? You, he, he is at 0 HP. How do you want to kill him? He's dying? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dead. <laughs> We're not going to figure anything out. <laughs> you're going you're well, to play for how? How do you want to kill him? I was going to say... I mean, you eat? technically have the option to leave him unconscious if you would yeah. prefer to be able to take him in. I feel like we definitely want to question him. That's fine. That's yeah. a reasonable thing. That's totally well, fine. You that's might be the most reasonable eat. person here. That's actually an excellent idea. I would, I Especially would say someone... Especially considering our discovery. What are you saying now? I would need to, uh, to restrain Romeo because he will, in fact, given the chance, kill this fuck. All right. Okay. And then we'll see our question. All right, he is unconscious as you uh, finally just bite at him enough where the blood loss gets just to be like, too much, and he's like, like a ball shake type. Yeah, deal, like exactly. <laughs> then you get up and like pound your chest like a, like an ape, and you're like, and they're like, <laughs> okay, that's not what bears do, and you're like, whatever, oh, I am a bear. <laughs> bear. Uh, Nova, you're up. All right, I gotta kill this guy now. <laughs> um. All right. Let's right. try attacking. Kick him in the teeth. Try. That hits. 19 hits. I was hoping for a ni 19. 19 on 19. the die would have been better. Yeah, that's okay. But yeah, that hits. All right. Booming blade away. So, okay, hold on. So that's 1d8 plus 5, 6, 7 because of the thing, but I also get a 1d6 because of yep. sneak attack. 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 7. Okay. Oops. Sorry. 11 damage. He's got exactly 11 HP left. Nova, how do you want to do this? <laughs> ah, I'm Let's so happy. 
Uh, so she, I, I'd like to, for cinematic sake, uh, say that after she kind of got, got hit, she kind of stumbles back a little bit and just looks up with this dead eye glare uh, before pulling back. And as she's kind of holding his gaze, just thrusts the rapier right through his throat. Very nice. Damn. Very nice. Uh, you gain hit points equal to your warlock Damn. level plus your oh, prison yeah. modifier back. Oh, I do! Because <laughs> he, he had your curse on him. Yay! Thank God! I That's forgot about that That's the real bonus part. of Hexblade's curse. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, so I get 5 HP, according to my sheet. All right. Uh, Ayla, you're up. Well, you know what? Fuck this guy in front of me. <laughs> uh, now that Jock is down, I will burn my second blood curse on him. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, that's another fucking nat twenty. <laughs> okay. Fuck him up. Uh, I was about so to you lightning about damage that first. Extra d4 if you needed it. Uh, that is six lightning. Yep. And then twelve piercing. Well, this guy is pretty low. He's terrified. He's the only one left, and he's surrounded by the lot of y'all and a bear mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a Tessa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think he's just gonna drop his sword and say, "I'm, I'm good." Yep. So you all survive. And I was worried that fight was gonna be too hard. I mean, yeah. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I don't think I wouldn't say it was too easy. <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, no, no, it definitely that was, wasn't too easy. No, no, no. It was very it was tense. Uh, I was gonna say it still worked out good. By now, most of the guests in here have been being cleared out by guards, so I'm not gonna keep them. The Azure Eye has been quickly shuffled away by her own security. Um Yeah, and presumably Layla is having to like reason Ramiel off of the murder cliff. You are probably having to get Ramiel off the murder cliff. Um, if if we do this right, we can let uh, we can let Tashir and the proper folks deal with it, as well as find out more information. Uh, Tessa seems to start calming down finally. That aura fading away as she puts her blade back on her back. Uh, in the other room, Asuka yeah. has full-on collapsed over one of the chairs and is now down on the ground. Uh, Nova's going up to her, trying to see if she can they can figure out where the poison's coming from, what's going on. She, You think... Uh, well, make a medicine check. I'll try. I'm not trained in that, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna inspo uh, that. Two. You're pretty sure she's faking it. <sighs> Five. Yeah, you think she's faking. Okay. This, this girl's a drama queen. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no, as you uh, peer down uh, and see her, you're starting to be able to see, like, the veins in her neck are turning black, uh, and she's clearly having a hard time breathing. Um, okay. This, whatever this is, it's choking the life out of her. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to pull her up over my arm, and we're just going to leave the room. Okay. We're just gonna walk around till I can find help. Okay. You Makes know sense. your healer is around here somewhere. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh indeed. Uh Tessa uh starts to bind the hands of these two people, intent on arresting them. Um and I'd say Nova. I'll be I'll I'll just shout for Layla at this point. If if I do I see that people are gone. Yeah, I mean, as you're coming out, you're seeing that this place is emptied out pretty okay. quickly. Okay, I'd shout for Layla's name then. Uh, yeah, from this distance, I think you'd, uh, without anybody here, you'd be able to hear. Uh, Layla, you hear Layla! someone calling for your name. Um, okay, hearing that, uh, and that it's Nova, I assume that they, they are calling for me specifically for health reasons. Yep. I mean, and that would so, be a reasonable assumption. Uh, you know, just checking like Ayla and Rami. No, Ayla's gonna basically yeah. shove her go. Well, just making sure like we need him. A... Why is there a bear here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hello. 
Uh, <laughs> pardon me. I, somebody. You're able to. Assistance. You're able to like squeeze by after a moment. The bear sits. The bear goes and sits on this chair. On this chair. Here. It sits like a. Per it sits like a person does. Uh, yeah, right on the couch there. Bear leaves are creepy. All right. So. Uh, and yes, you are able to hurry out. Um, Nova has managed to pull. Asuka onto one of the tables and has laid her down there. But as you get out there, uh, we can leave this map now because it's not important anymore. Uh, as you get out there, she is grabbing at her throat and struggling to breathe. Like she is like losing consciousness. Could you quickly. help the, the poison deer? <laughs> Otherwise, Ayla might, uh, might kill me. Uh, and sort of heavy breathing a little. Uh, well, I, normally I could, but I've, I've um, I've, I, I I will I would need to recharge and rest up a bit, um, because I am out of second level spell slots. No less rest that, is available. I, I wish I, I can. Mine. Yeah, that's why I was double checking. Like, what can I have a thing that lets me recharge? But right now it only recharges first level. I can do a cure wounds. Can that be enough to like? I mean, it might buy her a Open. few more, uh, another minute or so. Oh, geez, sir. Sure. Yeah, uh, uh, I think you have a. Ayla, it's probably have... trying to get everyone like out towards the main room. We do have a paladin. If you, I mean, so, yes. I don't know that, but you guys do. So as you start bringing everyone out, indeed, uh, Jaka is being uh, has been tied up and is on the back of a bear uh, that is just carrying him out. Uh, Ramiel has gone down and picked up Cadence and is carrying her out. Um, and, uh, Ayla, as you get out front, you do indeed see Asuka struggling and writhing on the table, grabbing her throat. Help with poison? I'm, I, I'm, I apologize. I'm simply too tired to, to manage it myself. Look out, I'll take care of it, says, uh, um, Tessa as she walks over. She grimaces. God's grasp. Uh, she puts a hand on her uh, and starts to channel this divine energy into uh, Asuka. And slowly you watch as the, vi uh, the veins that have been creeping their way up her face begin to recede back down. Uh, and it takes only a few moments before she finally pulls her hand away. And Asuka is asleep but is alive breathing her breathing is still a bit ragged but she's alive see uh see Codrin was uh see Codrin was uh quite the show uh would appear so I see Jack I'm like ah I was wondering why he decided to leave the uh the game early huh <laughs> Well, I have good news for all of us. We're all about to get a promotion. We're going to arrest two-thirds of the Thieves' Guild in one night. And look around. Has anybody... Ramiel, the the child... And uh, Ramiel uh, just kind of, like, looks down at uh, the... at Cadence that uh, he's uh, Princess carrying right now. Uh, and oh, indeed, okay. so we did. Okay. Any, we did. Anybody who has any knowledge about paladins uh, would recognize from that fight that Tessa is an oath breaker. She does not actually have an oath that she is sworn to at the moment. Because uh, Tessa said two thirds of the Thieves Guild, right? Yes. So she's I'll, suggesting if she yeah, arrests Asuka and that's what I thought. Jaka, that would be two thirds Nova, of the guild. Nova will speak up. Not to. Uh, Change your mind, of course. I will say that uh, these two, she kind of points between Asuka and Jaka, uh, do not see eye to eye. No, I would think not. They've been trying to kill one another. Yes, but... Uh, uh, what I... What I mean to say is... Uh, well, I will leave you to whatever that you feel is best, but perhaps one could be brokered a deal considering the others, I see the child, uh, crimes. Perhaps. She'll be arrested for now, and we will determine what to do with her in the morning. We can she, uh, 
I'm certain that you can. She uh, bi but she does bind Asuka's hands and pulls she her gave up over her shoulder. All of this is that not enough for you? It may yet well be, but we'll find out. Come on, let's get out of here before any of the regular guard of the city arrive. The uh, Dumons have already left. I'm sure they have. And that is and how you find find yourselves. You... Oops, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, mine was just like uh, taking care for the person. <laughs> Doing healer things. <laughs> oh yeah, no, um, for Asuka you mean? Yeah. Yeah. She's I'm okay like, now. Like, with the poison removed from her, she just needs rest. Yeah. Um, but that is how you find yourselves all returning to the crack scale that night. As you get there, uh, Tessa goes over and speaks with the person behind the counter who closes the bar down and gets everybody out. Uh, and you are all given the second floor completely to yourselves. Am I still there? Uh, by now, you would have returned to your normal shape. Okay. Uh, you left. You definitely left the party as a bear, but by the time you got back to the crack scale, you have returned to normal. Um, so, upstairs, uh, Cadence is placed in a room, I presume, with Ramiel, who mm -hmm. probably won't leave her side. No. Um, Asuka is put into a room as well, where she is restrained, but is not being taken to jail necessarily uh and um jaka is placed in another room along with the guard captain that was arrested uh they presumably are going to be taken to jail before too much longer but questioning is needed before that happens are you guys revealing the note that you saw yeah that is where uh, we'll, presumably that, that is where be... we will as we all start gathering together again uh she nods Okay. Obviously, a lot happened there very quickly. What do we make of it? Uh, well, if it... Just to add on to the, uh, the whole mess, we did, in addition to the child, discover this, uh, which seemed particularly incriminating. Uh, when Nova sees the note, um, their, eye their eyebrows kind of shoot up. Uh, that would explain that, then. They were setting Asuka up. Cassandra and, uh, Jaka, it seems. Hmm. The bodyguard, uh, Asuka was left alone in the card room when Jaka went to see, I assume, your mess. Cassandra left soon after, and suddenly Asuka was poisoned with her supposed bodyguard trying to kill us both. Interesting. Trying to get her uh, off the playing field, as it would speak. Now, this D, I do recall a, a Diane, say black? Diana of the Jet. Diana of the, je of the Jet. Yes, she right. owns the market here. Perhaps Chaka and Diane are working together, as it were? Perhaps. This won't be enough to mm. incriminate her, but it'll at least give us an idea of where to look. Of course, say so are careful with these uh, initials. Yes, we may know who it is, but it won't be enough to stand up in court. <laughs> Still, it's more than enough for it him. Can, I imagine it can just help further discover more. I personally am much more concerned with... I can't remember what the name was. Is it Cadence? Cadence. 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 Okay, yes. for some reason, because that's not a real name. My brain is rejecting it. It's a real name. That's that's why I air quotes. <laughs> oh, got it. Uh, indeed. Uh, this this cadence and like meaningful glance at Ramiel. Uh, how did how did they come to be here? And I have no idea. Everything associated with that they meaningful shouldn't. glance at Ramiel. <laughs> they Ooh. shouldn't be here. By all... Every report I've seen, every bit of information I have, they aren't here. Who is this girl? She's the daughter of General Tashira. The younger and daughter. 
and apparently Aramiel's sister. What? 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 Uh, Tessa looks at you, Ramiel. What do you mean? I have no reports of her having a brother. You wouldn't. At least not to an official capacity. And Ramiel actually like looks over to um to everyone and uh I may or may not have something to I may or may not have something to divulge as far as my relation to her, but Yes, she is my little sister. And is that why you're here then? No. It just so happens that a bunch of coincidences ha uh, aligned and fell into place. Seems to be a trend for you people. Life itself is nothing more than one great coincidence. She kind of rubs her temples. Although, as but either as, way, I am glad that she is at least well, and we were able to recover her. Did you know she was missing at no. all? Uh, I... you know, assuming we're close enough for it, because we didn't fuss this. Uh, a sympathy, like, hand on, like, hand or arm or whatever. As you can clearly see, uh, neither her or, not, neither her or I, um, share any physical traits, um, but that doesn't mean that it's complicated. Family frequently is, and now, if you say you're family, now for now, that's good enough for me, if maybe not anybody else, but... I have no reason to doubt you. You don't have to be related to be family. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Hmm. And Romeo just kind of, um, just kind of nods at that as often as they would remind me. All right. This building is officially on lockdown. No one comes in. No one goes out. General Tashira will be here in the morning. Um, <laughs> Braley's gonna... Sorry. No, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Braley's gonna look at Tessa and be like, uh, Tessie, what does Commodore mean? Commodore? Uh, a Commodore is a naval rank, more often than not, for the head of ships. Uh, Why? I overheard your your boss. What's his name? Aaron? General a General Aaron, yes. Yeah, he, he uh, called Lady Leneth a uh, Commodore earlier. Are you certain? Yeah. Intrigued. And they, like, they left quickly after that. A Commodore is not a rank we use in the Children of the Deep. In fact, none of the major factions use the rank of Commodore, save for one, Azure's Remembrance. <laughs> if Lady Leneth is a Commodore, she is a soldier for Azure's Remembrance. Is that is a problem because what, what would their um alignment uh what would Adra's remembrance be uh as far as uh their alignment to the children of the deep? It's pretty neutral, I would say. You're not okay. actively hostile towards one another, but you're not necessarily friendly either. And um, I'm guessing from the name that's the that's the blue ones on the map. Those are the blue ones, yes. They control okay. the waters between the long jump. Uh, Mitra Scaleth uh, is neutral in the war, 
Uh, uh, of course they're neutral. Why would you ever question otherwise? They're elves. They don't give a shit about your Dragonborn conflict, except they're also totally allied with Azure's Remembrance, but not really, because that would never happen. It's an open secret. How dare you suggest such a thing? It's the worst kept secret in the war is that Mitra Scalith is sympathetic to the uh, Tazir's Remembrance. Lady Leneth is an interesting one. She, our records of her, well, she's a ghost, as it were. Three years ago, she didn't exist. Two years ago, you can find everything from a birth certificate to whatever else you want. But none of it's more than two years old. <laughs> Someone wants the identity crisis, perhaps. Did you mention the other bit, uh, Braley, about what actually spooked her when he said, I know where you're actually from? Help me remember. So uh, what actually spooked her and got her to agree to talk to him is when he said, if I were trying to blackmail you, I'd tell you I know yeah. where you're actually from. And that's what actually freaked her out. Okay. Um, Braley is also going to like, no. Um, we were talking because I thought she was from Mitra, Mitra Scalith, but... Uh, General Aaron mentioned that she could have been from somewhere else other than. And that's what kind of initially drove them to have a little conversation and leave. He suggested that she was from somewhere else and then she left with him. Yeah. Hmm. As though threat, as though like threatening to like blackmail her what I'm about to tell you cannot leave this room of course understood it's merely speculation and rumor at this point we have not yet gained any hard evidence but there has been an ongoing theory that she Lady Leneth is an operative from Mitra Primus, the capital of Mitra Glorianda. The Elven Continent? The Elven Continent. Okay. Didn't that disappear like forever ago? Yes. <laughs> no one knows where it is anymore. Well, that would uh, certainly be an interesting development, I suppose. Indeed. I will do some digging on that and let you know what I find out. It might take some time. I'm going to have to be and careful. What, uh, what is that based upon? She is someone important to the elves, yet until recently apparently didn't exist. The elves are not ones to give someone rank and respect for nothing. The theory is that if she is an operative from Mitra Glorianda, she may be able to come here and relatively easily pull rank in the elven cities. Hmm. Hmm. Which would certainly do some interesting gymnastics with the war and its, uh, well, rank and file, so to speak. The elves of Mitra Glorianda are taking interest in this war. Need I remind you, they did not participate in Scala's wars. Hmm. If they're taking interest in this, then there is something greater at work. Wait, question. When when she says take part in Scala's wars, as in like not fighting for or against Scala, right? Yeah, so sorry. They did take place in the first yeah, I... war against Scala. Yeah. Yeah. But the Whispers and Silence timeline, they were not part of the United Allies of Serene in that timeline because no one knows where they are. Gotcha. Although, and, and granted, this is a bit more player knowledge, that whole thing was over in the span of simply a few weeks. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Though, I mean, you also know that like even when you guys went to the future, they weren't around. So, 
But again, that's a specialty player knowledge. Yeah, that was that for sure. That was definitely yeah. Your characters have no idea. But um, um okay. Yeah. Either that or they were in some way indisposed. Perhaps, but that they're showing an interest in this would be noteworthy. Hmm. And for Azure's remembrance that uh, she pretends to be with, of all places. Yes. I'm not sure why. As I say, I'll look into it. The rest of you, good work. Very good work tonight. Ah, what's a little party without uh, without some upsets, yes? Yes. It certainly was eventful. Well, I'm going to have some very choice words for General Tashira when I speak with them. When, when you do, may I ask for a favor? You may. Would you be able to keep my involvement in, from this? From her? I will attempt to. Thank you. She nods and excuses herself. Like I say, do not leave the building. No one in or out tonight. Ugh. An ear without my small clothes. Well, you are in your, where your in-room is. Oh yeah, sorry. No. No, that's okay. I kind of half forgot that myself. Yeah, I thought we were still in the building when you said no, no one comes in or out. It was, <laughs> yeah. it, what did it for me was the like second floor, and I'm like, did we just overtake an inn? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you did. I mean, it's you guys are in the crack scale, but it has been cleared out for just you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Tashira right. basically went to the bartender and said, I'm commandeering this place. Uh, so... Your night is a strange one. Does anyone have anything they want to do tonight? Does um uh does Cadence at any point um come to? She, n I mean, she's always been a little like a little conscious, but she's been kind of out of it. When she finally gets put in a warm bed, she's out. Okay. She sleeps. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I didn't bring it up because it isn't super important, but I would have done healer things looking over her and everybody. For sure. <laughs> she Romeo is, would insist she's a that healer. Uh... Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, I'm a healer by calling and training. Uh, Ramil would insist that um, that you look after everyone else before you fuss uh, over him. I think if you look over Nova, I she'll... think. Go ahead, sorry. Well, I was gonna say when when Ramil does that, she'll look him just straight in the eye, give him a little smile and nod. What was that look for? <laughs> just so. that sort of I see you. She's a sweetie. <laughs> In the morning, you all... Well, I think Nova had... Something. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't that special. I was just going to say that uh, if you do help patch Nova up, I think you would see that they were high they were somehow able to just kind of shrug off the fact that they had pretty grievous wounds. Yep. That's all. You do need to... Oh, yeah, in uh, quite bad shape. Yeah, uh, much but, uh, better, much worse than it than it initially appears. Are you quite all right, dear? Oh, oh, this uh, this is nothing. He had a uh, he found a good uh, good mark on me, but uh, well, he was dead soon after. Layla, well, do take care. Layla, and let me know if you have any soreness or anything. Yes. As you patch up Nova. As you're applying a bandage onto a wound, <laughs> she doesn't move, but you swear you feel a hand caress your cheek affectionately. <laughs> you swear you feel it, but you didn't see anything. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, slight perplexed look as she moves on. <laughs> Nova, you hear in your head, the dragonborn is pretty. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, the dragonborn is pretty. You think everyone is pretty here? Everyone can be pretty. 
I appreciate you find the beauty in all people here, but I am not going to make any untoward moves that I cannot give anything that they would actually desire. Has anyone ever told you that you are extremely boring? Has anyone ever told you that you know exactly the reason why I am? That is true. But you did sell it to me, and I do you a great favor by helping you out. And I knew exactly what I was doing when I gave it to you. That you did. But worry not. We will have it back soon, yeah? That is the plan. In the morning, the five of you are called to the back room in the hallway. This is the room where Cadence was staying in the prior night, although she doesn't seem to be there as you get there. Oh, no! Runaway daughter? Oh, no. No? Entering the room, though, you do see a tall woman with red shimmering scales. A lance is strapped to her back, and a few of the scales on her face have been cut away into a deep scar. Approaching, she bows her head politely. I am General Tashira of the Scarlet. I understand I have you all to thank for my daughter's safe return. We are at your service. I have my hood up and my head down. What a pleasure to meet you. My name is Layla of the Sable. Nova A's. We uh, were not aware of your daughter ear, but uh, all the glad that we were able to find her for you. As am I. Merely a pleasant coincidence. I would like to tell you that that is true, but it is not. I owe you all an apology. Cadence was kidnapped a few weeks ago, and threatening letters began arriving telling me I needed to resign my commission if I ever wanted to see her again. That was not an option, given what I am planning on trying to lead. But if I had sent soldiers here looking for my daughter, the kidnapper might have killed her in exchange, er, rather than risk being caught with her. So instead, I began to spread rumors of an assassination plot against myself. I figured if people were investigating those rumors, the kidnapper would not feel as threatened. <laughs> but it would probably lead to the same place. Fortunately for me, my guess was right on the money. Very tricky. It is not a trait that I am extreme, extremely proud of, but it has been a useful one in my life. <laughs> Ramiel, you can put your hood down. <laughs> and with a with a with a sigh, um, I'm just gonna do so. How are you, Ramiel? Long time no see. My performance left a lot, a lot to be desired. You saved my daughter. Your performance was everything I could have hoped for and more. Not that one. Ah. I think Melody would have enjoyed it. She says and smiles. You will all perhaps... Well, I thank you for being friends with Ramiel for being such stalwart allies. <laughs> no one Ayla share a glance. <laughs> <laughs> no one Ayla share a glance over the word friend, but say nothing. <laughs> well, if I am to leave the nest as it were, I would have needed suitable allies, much like how Mum found you, much how like Mum found everyone else. Yes. Ayla could give Aunt Hodan a, a run for her money. I'm certain she could. 
Now that's the part I'd like to see. Ramiel, people like you are exactly the reason Melody opened El Evelyn's promise. And he actually, like, blinks at that. Um, I don't quite follow. Sometimes people just need a chance to show you how wonderful they can be. That was her maddeningly oft-quoted line about it. Yes, well, Mum always did find the best in people, even if, even if they didn't deserve it. Well, I am certain Cadence will want to say hello. She is currently resting in my room, but um, when she is ready to be up and about again, I will make sure you see her. No, it's, that's, that's quite, that's quite a ride. If, I don't think she would appreciate the fact that her big brother would have almost killed for the sake of Perhaps we will spare the 10 year old that particular bit of information, yes? Yeah. Um, though, if we aren't around, um, and she wants to ask, um, tell the little, tell uh, the little Echo that, uh, that Big Brother's off to have the same adventures as Mom. <laughs> Perhaps. And I'll, I'll come back. I'll, I'm not quite the, the same uh, storyteller as uh, as mom is. But uh, I'll, I'll make an attempt. You may be more right than you know. Around that moment, uh, Tessa enters into the room as well and bows her head apologetically. <sighs> Sorry, I was bringing my other superiors up to speed on what has occurred. Uh, have I missed anything? Uh, Tashira shakes head. No, we were merely catching up. Big family reunion. I think Ayla is just kind of giving a blank stare at being compared to Kaldana. If, uh, the Kaldana? If there are any lingering effects of her uh, confinement, Please let me know, and I will do what I can to take care of young Cadence. You are most gracious. I will let you know if there's anything that you can do for her. It's you've simply all, what I did. You've all done great work. I am indeed here to put forth information about a new operation that we will be conducting. Very well. Operation Sword Crown will begin hopefully within the month. Sword Crown? Yes. I don't even code name. <laughs> it is Operation Sword Crown. Our aim is to take the war to the mainland in the first major offensive of the Children of the Deep's participation. The offensive that we are massing will be the largest invasion on land since the United Allies of Serene landed at Mountain's End nearly 800 years ago. Wait, when, quite wait when he says mainland, like mainland on the scale, right? Yes, they're, they're uh, yeah. uh, planning to move from the crown where they are, the crown above Mother's Jail, down to mainland Mother's Jail. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you all are right here on Jet's Ambition. They are planning on moving down towards the mainland and actually okay. invading. Gotcha. All right. It will be one of the largest military operations ever conducted, and it is going to be a major turning point in this war, or so we hope. Captain Allspeth, for your valor, you're being promoted to the rank of commander and I am assigning you to lead the mainland invasion force. Tessa raises both of her eyebrows. You want me to lead it? To sheer nods. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm an elf. 
I think they would probably respond better to a Dragonborn commander, yes? And to sheer nods. They will respond to whoever I tell them to respond to. But your concern is noted. No, I think you'll make a fine commander. She stiffens a bit, but nods. Okay. Sure. You got this. She, she looks Sorry. at the rest of you. I know that thus far you have been serving as mercenaries in the employ of the Children of the Deep. I'm offering you an official rank and commission with the Children of the Deep to join in this operation. You'll be offered the rank of Lieutenant. Very well. How can I do anything but accept? Very well, Lieutenant Hayes. And the rest of you? Well, do I get a badge? Yes, it is part of the uniform. Then yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your priorities are Very well. on the straight and narrow, so to speak. Lieutenant Tourmaline. Will this get... H how much of this will get back to you, um, Terrison, specifically to certain parties? If you are worried about Melody finding out, I wouldn't worry. All right, well. I question, I have a question as a player. All right. Uh, when did 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 um did Terrace and Evelyn ever share her last name? Um I think Melody knew it, so yeah, probably. What well, what was it again? The rest. The rest? Okay. Then I suppose it's only fitting that I look that um I take my proper name then. Very well, Lieutenant Lorest. And you, Miss Ayla? Layla? Uh. Seeing as how we share the common goal of trying to bring an end to the fighting, I cannot rightly refuse. Indeed. She glances over at Tessa, which, by the way, is why I chose you. When you joined us, you said your goal was for this war to end. I share that goal with you. I think Ayla kind of grits her teeth, looks at everyone else. Fine, but you should know I'm not great at taking orders. <laughs> Very well, Lieutenant Stormborn. Well, if that means just more of the pot uh, for me, then I suppose I can live with that, Sailor. As you're talking, you hear a loud commotion uh, outside suddenly, and then the door flings open. Mother! yells an infuriated voice. Approaching the group of you, you see another dragonborn with shimmering purple scales. Like Tashira, she has a lance on her back and wears simple scaled armor. Slamming a piece of paper down on the desk, she scowls. What is the meaning of this? She demands. Tashira exhales through her nose, giving you all an apologetic look. She then looks at her daughter. I don't know, Arya. Why don't you tell me? The younger dragonborn growls. It's my enlistment form. Despite a clean bill of health, it was denied. Something about the general not accepting her daughter's enlistment. Hmm. Tashira crosses her arms, nodding. Then I would say you have a pretty good idea of the meaning of it. Arya scowls. I am 17 summers old. I've been an adult in the eyes of our people for two years now. I have a right to serve if I want to. Tashira nods. That you do. But as general, I have the right to deny anyone for any reason. And the Red Lady will take me long before you serve in my army. 
your mother and I did not go through what we did for you two to grow up into war and suffering. We wanted you to have a better life than we had than we did, she says firmly. Well, then you both failed. War and suffering is here, whether you like it or not. This civil war has been going on since before I could walk, and I'm old enough to do my part now, and I want to, she replies. And admittedly, that does seem to knock Tashira back a little bit. Commander Allspeth glances between them and considers carefully her words before speaking. I'll take her. Both Dragonborn look over at her. She nods. She can serve in my regiment. Or help us prepare for the invasion. Uh, Arya glances up at her mom. Tashira considers it for a long moment before sighing through her nose. <sighs> she takes the paper off the desk and draws up a stamp, pressing it. All right, Lancer Arya, gather your things. You report to your commanding officer tomorrow, she finally says. And Arya salutes before hurrying off, only sparing a moment to go, Hi, Ramiel, and keep going. <laughs> Does anyone fucking know? Well, I mean, it is your name. Tashira, de uh, Tashira goes, Dear, I don't want to be the one to break this to you, but you stand out in a crowd. In fact, a lot of you do. We are special, what can I say? Of that I have no doubt. You have all done me a great service in bringing my daughter back to me. What may I do for you in return? Um, if... If I may, uh, with this... With this regiment, um... Are we allowed to um, recommend or recruit anyone? You are officers, yes. You will still be serving under Commander Allspeth, but if they approve of them, then yes. And I, um, I, uh, I glance over at um, at a at Cap uh, Commander, sorry, uh, Commander Allspeth, and uh, and go. There is one um, person I would recommend. Um, hot giant um, can cook, and and has experience um, in as as a as I'm aware. And what is their name? R Orion. She seems to think for a moment. Oh yes. The sergeant, right? I will... Very well. If you vouch for him, I will see that he is transferred to our unit. If, if he will accept. Um... So be it. To sheer nods. That's not really a favor I did for you. Is there anything that I can do? Is she, is she asking anyone specifically? Or just no, she's asking the group of you. Well, if uh, if we are to be going to war soon, I suppose uh, some of us could use some upgrades. I'll see what I can have provided. Or I can have requisitioned for you. I could have yes. some better armor for myself, personally. Whatever armor oh. you need will be provided. Very good. Yes, equipment of various kinds would always be helpful if we're to do our part uh, successfully. And gold is always appreciated. You will, of course, be paid for your efforts. As you I need think. not worry about that. As I assumed. Let Asuka go. She looks at you. We wouldn't have managed any of it without her. She walks over and draws a uh, parchment up off the desk. It's a very long list of charges against Miss Lestelle. And yet her assistance was vital in taking down 
in not only taking down um, whoever was planning to do harm to you, but had harmed Cadence. She is the leader of the Thieves Guild, the daughter of Blackjack Lestell, a known criminal. I can speak to a character, if it helps. She, uh, well, I happen to witness uh, her, uh, her little disagreement with Cassandra Dumorn and uh, her decision to not go along the path of her father. Um, I forget exactly what Cassandra like criticized her for, what she was saying that she was going to do. She but was I, I would have imposing heard. rules. Yeah, she was imposing oh, rules here. upon the thieves' guild about not ruining people's lives. Yeah, so I would mention that. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to like find shit on the whispers and silence notes. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cough, oh, yeah. cough, Carmen, cough, mm -hmm. cough. Yeah. I know. I, was, I, I made I that. Was going to I was say, to make that same joke. Aren't, um, Wouldn't Child of the Shield, wouldn't um a certain Aunt Carmen uh look at this list and go novice. She gets the most tired of fucking <laughs> look on her face. <laughs> you and gives you a look of like, you pompous little <laughs> smart ass. How dare you bring up Carmen's name? Carmen would look at the list and go, those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those up. <laughs> <laughs> if, I speak freely, time. <laughs> if I may speak freely, General, um, compared to a certain uh, Lady Carmen, uh, these are these are quite how, how the fuck in English? What the fuck is the word? Um, these are quite um, small for a uh, for a uh, supposed um, uh, leader of um, of a unscrupulous um, establishment. She is only eighteen, and she surely she would sh if she were um, if her assistance was vital. Now imagine her. Um, ability to um, to help on a more official capacity. Ramiel, has anyone ever told you that you're too smart for your own good? Yes, quite a few times. Um, she walks over. Five names. She walks over and stamps the parchment and then goes over to you, Ayla, and hands it to you. She is pardoned pending her enlistment. She joins you, she goes free. She doesn't like my terms. I have a jail cell waiting for her. I'll see what I can do. She hands you the parchment. Good luck. Around, um, uh, what, uh, season of the year would you say this is right now it is um it's winter actually um it is the end of winter though as uh things are getting ready to start opening up again which is why this offensive is being planned for now And you hear, you hear, like, ah. Are you... If Melody were here, she would say you owe the curse purse. <sighs> Say what? I do, don't I? And uh, he, he's going to um, pull out a gold and hand it over to him. Uh, him himself? What the fuck? Hold on. He hello? <laughs> hmm. Oh, he... he uh, he, he's gonna he's gonna um, pull out a gold and uh, hand it over to uh, General Tashira. She takes it and puts it in her purse. Hey, 
it just dawned on me that um, uh, Hopestone and Rainsover, Rainsover is going to be occurring, and I don't have a bloody gift for people. I think, given the situation, <laughs> they are not holidays that are celebrated on Mother's Jail, so you need not well, worry. Not 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 on Mother's Jail, but te definitely Terracin, and um, yes. I don't want Mum to uh, spend another Hope Stone with a with not the entire family, at least. Um... Ramiel, we haven't seen Melody in six months. What? Six months ago, she ventured to the Mother's Jail mainland intent on speaking with the Ivory. She wanted to reason with her people. We have not seen her since. You haven't, you haven't heard from her? No. And realization dawns on, on his face. It's why Arya wants so badly to serve. It's why I'm organizing this invasion. The war turned personal. Yes. <laughs> it always does. She stands then. Commander, I'll speak with you later today. We will go over some of the plans for your new position and your new responsibilities. The rest of you, I recommend you take the day to rest up. You're going to have a busy week ahead of you. But so it seems. Indeed. Very well. Thank you for the opportunity. But of course. As you are leaving, Nova, you hear in your mind, you do not have to do that. Have to do what? You stood up for the tiefling. Simply could be an ally for the cause. I saw no reason to put to death somebody, or put in jail somebody who, well, could bloody do something. That sounds like justification and denial. What on earth are you talking about? I am merely stating that uh, you have let people rot in a cell for far less. If you are suggesting that I feel something, you are wrong. You are selling out this entire army, and yet you think that, um, that this uh, one person is worth a while, huh? reasons I do things are for the sake of the greater goal that I have. Hmm. Whatever helps you sleep at night, my dear. Not much for dreaming anyway. <laughs> you are when I let you. Yes. The dreams that you feel I should see for my own good. I am simply just well, I have to make sure that the group does not realize that I am simply Pretending affections. Ugh. You are trying to tell me is that you do not feel anything. <laughs> I haven't felt things since the day I left him. Uh-huh. You will excuse me if I think that maybe you overstate a little bit. Overstayed? Overstate. Overstate. You Sorry. exaggerate. Uh, you feel, you know what my body feels. It's heartbeat, it's face ticks. I don't feel rush of anything. In order for someone to have love, to love someone, they need something to give and something to lose. And I... I no longer have either. Mm. We shall see, mon cher. We shall see. And that's where we'll wrap up for tonight. 